Hello and welcome back to another Slate Spire stream. I'm your host, Vegetable Bread, and today we're going to be continuing our Ironclad um, uh, series, trying to improve my Ironclad win rate. I believe we did get a win last time. Um, I can't look at my run history because I was trying out some some goofy shenanigans, but I'm pretty sure we got a win last time. Uh, Ram and Common Relic is pretty good. Um, removing two cards is fine-ish. Boss Relic swaps are okay on, on Ironclad, but I think Random Common Relic is probably better than Boss Relic, usually. Um, obviously the, the like, outstanding outcomes are, like, um, uh, Preserved Insect. Uh, what's the other Super Busted Common? Um, there's, like, a couple of really Busted Commons. Um, Art of War. Um... Ironclad cards. Nope, that's not what we want. Relics. Common relics. Um, even things like Maw Bank. It's pretty unassuming, but a, a, a Maw Bank from Meow can end up being like 300 gold. It's like an old coin. Um, there's some misses there too. GZ bracelet. Um, smiling mask. Um, but even like Akabiko or like Tiny Chest is actually pretty good from Meow. Because you can just build around it, right? You can go to a bunch of question marks, or you can, you know, do whirlwind, do like a bottled whirlwind. Um, yeah, common relics are quite good. Yeah, insect is common. Insect is like way outside of, outside of the power envelope for common relics, but there it is. All right, potion belt, sure. Okie doke, or a calcum, sure. Lots of good commons. Uh, probably don't want to go to this shop, so I don't think we're going right. Um, early pathing's a little bit awkward. There's five fight path here, or shops. I guess this is a this is a path we could do. Three fights, two question marks. That's what you want. Looks like that leads into a three elite path, or potentially a mega elite. Um, let's see. Other things we could do. This guy turns into a three elite path. It's basically the same as this. Um, uh, except it has the question marks one floor later. This is two fights and then two question marks. This is one fight and then two question marks then a fight. Um, I think you want your question marks early in Act 1 because of Golden Idol. Um, if you're not going to have your question marks on like floor 2 and 3, you want them like after your first Elite. So that you know if you like, if you did super well at your Elites, then maybe you have a little bit of extra health to give to like a Scrap Ooze or a Shining Light. Um... But it doesn't look like that's going to be the plan here. I think the plan here is going to be do the early question marks. So let's do it. Boo. Uh, I think we're just triple blocking. Try and heal up in this fight. Still have our burning blood, so... Uh, I think this is a split both, take two sort of situation. Kill whoever's attacking next turn. Hopefully this guy. Nice. Two strikes is not enough, but I imagine we will end this fight without taking any more damage. The two will be it. Okay. Floor one shockwave. Flex spot goes to the pummel. Uh, we can hold on to the flex spot forever because we have potion belt. So we don't really have to be worried about using it right now. Hey, Phylos BE. Um, bonjour. Oh, sacre bleu. French accent. <laughs> I have only the most ridiculous, hammiest possible French accent, and I will not compromise. <laughs> hey, first aid. Uh, yeah, pummel's nice for strength stealing later on. I'm a little bit worried about, um, if you pick up pummel on floor one, you can end up relying on, on pummel for, like, um... For your damage, and then you realize later, oh yeah, Pummel exhausts, and now I don't have any damage. Um, which is sad. Also, Shockwave is like normally a really important card in Ironclad decks, so I'm, I'm kind of loath to skip one. But it is floor one. And Shockwave is not an attack. Um, 
With Shockwave, we can vulnerable sentries. Um, it's pretty good against Lagavulin. Um, bash on turn one, Shockwave on two, and then wake up on three. Rage is here too. I've never had a good a, a deck that relies on Rage and blocks a lot and survives experience. I think the primary reason for not Rage is we need answers to Gremlin Knob. And Rage just like makes that worse. I think it's probably Pummel, but I kind of want to pick the Shockwave. Maybe we can afford to pick Shockwave? We've all, I don't know, we've only got three fights before our first Elite. Um, and we don't, we can't really back out. All of these fights have elites soon. So if we take Shockwave and don't find an attack, we're in, in some trouble. I think I'm going to risk it. I want that Shockwave. Oh. Well, that changes our path. Uh, Shrine of Gold. Go to a shop immediately. Seems incredible. It's basically net 150 gold, because we have to pay 75 to remove the regret, and 50 is the opportunity cost. But still, 150 gold is a pretty big deal. Um, it basically costs us a relic, because we um, we go right instead of left, so we only get two elites instead of three. Uh, we get the same number of campfires, more later question marks. Uh, later question marks are good. So we, we'll probably like not lose as much health to elites in this in this run, and then like maybe do some scrappies or shining light stuff over here. To try and, and claw back that power, or like odd mushroom or whatever. There's a lot of ways to spend health at question marks in Act One. Sure. Also, if there's a um, if there's a rupture at the shop, maybe we do that instead. Nope. Um, Potion belt cauldron is pretty interesting. Uh, there's also a Sundial here. Sundial is definitely best on Ironclad. Um, because Ironclad is always capable of exhausting the deck. Um, so perhaps early Sundial. Um, we're going to want to remove that curse. And then if we pick Sundial, we could pick like Iron Wave to catch up a little bit. Um... Opinion on Discovery. This card? Um, it can be useful. Um, discovery is tricky. Um, yes, it does, it does, it's true. Um, yeah, it's, it's 150 gold now, but it, it does, it doesn't raise the cost of future, uh, future card removes. I don't, I think Discovery is usually not worth it. Um, there are definitely situations where Discovery is good. Um, I saw, um, I saw Baylor pick a Discovery the other day, and it kind of blew my mind, because he picked a Discovery because he had, a, like, a dual-wield deck. I do play standing, yeah. And Discovery with dual-wield in particular is, is insane, um, uh, because you get zero-cost stuff, and then you make copies of it, and then, um, you go off like a bomb. Um... But that's not really the situation here. We could pick a dual wield. I mean, we're playing Ironclad, so Discovery I think is probably better in Ironclad than the other classes because of the dual wield interaction. Um. <laughs> really? Discovery used to crash the game? Wow, that's insane. I never knew that. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just um, on team Sundial card remove Iron Wave. Uh, do we need the Iron Wave? What's good and zero cost? Uh, Discovery makes things zero cost, so it doesn't have to come zero cost. Yeah, it's not not incredible. I'm pretty happy to build around the Sundial, though, as Ironclad. Give me, like, a Pommel Strike and a Finesse, and the game's over. People were going for the world rotating... Rule the record on rotating, and they would have to wait 10 plus minutes for the game to not crash. Wow. Yeah, I also love standing. Um, I had a standing desk at work, like, many years ago. So then when it came time to get a get a desk for my home, I just, like, 
This desk, this desk is not adjustable. It doesn't do anything. It's just an IKEA shelving unit uh, on some poles, and it, the 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 height of the the whatever table is um, is just where where my eyes go right into the monitor. Um, it's pretty great. I uh, there's a downside for me to use a standing desk at work, which is that I have like a very intimidating workstation as soon as I do that because I'm, I'm very tall, I'm like six foot five. So like other people on the team would come up and their like heads would be like under where the table is, which is just like not very fun as a human. So that's sort of the downside <laughs> of standing desks. Um, thanks for the follow, uh, Phylos BE. Appreciate the support, welcome to the Vegetable Hatch. All right, let's do the sundial thing. That sounds super fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know. But it doesn't matter that I'm tall, right? You guys just see the camera view. That's all, that's all you need to know. Um, we could take six here to try and get lethal next turn. Put him to 21. Uh, it's unlikely to work because we're drawing shockwave next turn. Let's just try and not take too much. Uh, we don't have lethal. We have 27 damage. Uh, it's a cat. <laughs> yeah, I do not have a kid. Um, Coconut, you've been called out. Quick, take a nap. Uh, what does Shockwave Defend do here? He's currently hitting for 11, so he'd hit for 8. We take 3 and look for lethal next turn. I don't like looking for lethal next turn without doing any damage right now. Um, I think we need to do some damage right now. So we do 18, he goes to 12. We get lethal with, like, Bash Strike. Sure. We take net one damage in the fight. Darn. Um, floor one in Trench. I think we've already got, like, a... Weird late game combo plan. I don't think we want to do it in weird late game. A different weird late game combo plan. Um, could pick a clothesline. I like clothesline. It's not like an incredible card, but it'll save you a 10 health in a Lagavulin fight. That's 12 damage. Clothesline is good in all Act 1 elites, right? Because clothesline is like... Against sentries, you draw one one real card and do 12 damage with it. Against Logavulin. Weak is very effective against Gremlin Knob. It's a way to block without using a skill. Those ones great. Drat. Shockwave and Clothesline are our only way to block here. Uh, I guess we could Clothesline Strike on this one to kill him, and then we take 8. Um, let's see, do we take more or less damage if we Shockwave Strike? Um, so he hit for 4, he hit for 6, so that's 10. 10 versus 8. It's true. It, it, yeah, it, it does become pretty junky after Act 1. That's fair. Also, we should be a little bit cautious about choosing attacks. Because if we're trying to do Sundial shenanigans, attacks are the hardest thing to get out of the deck, right? Skills and powers and, um, and stuff can, can go away because of Corruption, um, or, like, Second Wind. But we have to pick attack one attacks to win Act One, so let's do that. Darn, losing a bit of health to this easy pool fight. Not a fan of that. Blood bot, that's nice. Yeah, fiend fire would be nice. Fiend fire, uh, true grit is another way to get rid of attacks. It's not that hard. Uh, Sword Boom would be our third attack. Um, Clash is actually pretty decent if you're planning on second winding everything in your hand away and just doing uh, Sundial stuff. Is Clash uh, Pommel Strike plus an infinite with um, 
with, uh, whatchamacallit, Sundial? I think it is, right? Because, um, yeah, because Pommel Strike shuffles twice um, for every uh, for every cycle. So you end up... Um, uh, what's the lowest common denominator of 4 and 3? Is it just 12? I guess it is, yeah. So every 6 times you play Pommel Strike, you get back... Um, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so you get back 8 energy. Uh, oh, right, you can't redraw the pommel from itself. Yeah, that's why you need, like, a finesse or something. Yeah, good point. Drat. <laughs> um. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to pick a clash because it's bad. Shrug and Sword Boom are both reasonable. Sword Boom is the I want to kill Act 1 Elites card. Shrug it off is the I want to set up my Sundial and like pick Corruption later card. I do want to pick Corruption later. Can I afford this? We have a Blood Pot, so we're able to lose some health in this Elite fight. If it is Gremlin Nub. Not, like, super happy about it, though. Um, can you do two pommel strikes in a loop? I think you can, right? Because it uh, both of them shuffle twice. So you're paying two to shuffle four times. Um, and then you do the same... Uh, Meet at 12 thing. So you draw four, so you do three cycles, cost you six. Um, yeah, so two pommel strikes would do it. That's weird, but that does work. Two pommel strike pluses. Actually, you only need one of them to be a plus, is that right? Yeah, if, uh, if only one of them is a plus, then you can do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with the with the sundial interaction. Just uh, I'll, I'll explain it for people in chat. Um, so uh, so the way sundial works, which is stupid, is every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two two energy. So if you have one card in your discard pile and no cards in your draw pile, and you attempt to draw two cards, here's what the game thinks: I'm drawing a card and my uh, discard pile is empty. I'll go. I'll shuffle it. Right. Okay. So that's shuffle number one, uh, and then you draw one card. Right. So you're one out of two. And then you start to draw your second card, and the game says, Oh no, the uh, the draw pile is empty. I guess I'll shuffle. Um, and so it shuffles your non-existent um, uh, discard pile into your draw pile. Um, and fails to draw you one card. And then it will stop drawing. So if you have a card in your hand that says, draw five cards, right? Um, and you have one card in your discard pile, it will not shuffle ten times or whatever. Or, you know, six times. Uh, four times, I don't know. I don't know what the reasonable numbers would be, but it will shuffle exactly twice. Twice is the max you can get from one card. Um, and any card that draws two or more will, will shuffle twice if there's one card in the discard. Um, which is weird. It's weird. Uh, I'm going to take a shrug it off. I don't want a sword boom in the deck. I'm afraid of taking attacks. It is Gremlin Nub. Okay, fair enough. A possible flex spot turn, but I don't think so. Shockwave worth it? Um, I think so. I think we shockwave strike this turn and then get lethal next turn. Uh, actually, lethal with flex spot doesn't seem like a very realistic possibility. We could just clothesline iron wave next turn, which is a crazy amount of block for two attacks. So instead of hitting for 24, he'll hit for 16 and we block for 5. So we're going to take 11. Uh, although he'll have a little bit more strength than that. Oh, and he'll already be weak if we shockwave, so the clothesline doesn't actually block. Hmm. So if we shockwave strike, this does 9, he goes to 62. Yeah, I don't think we're doing 62 with a flex spot. Maybe if we picked the uh, sword boom, this would be a sword boom instead. We'd probably get lethal next turn. Um, okay, well, if we're not getting a kill next turn, we probably shouldn't shockwave, right? Uh, so we just strike in the next turn, close line Iron Wave. That's so slow, though. 
Strike, take 8. Clothesline, Iron Wave, take 11. So we take 19. And then he tries to hit us for 24. And we probably still don't kill him. We do 6, he goes to um, 65. We do 17, he goes to 47. Wait. 48. I don't think we can even kill from 48 um, with the flex spot. I think we need to shockwave, otherwise we're not getting enough damage. It would be really nice if the game would dynamically update the energy visual when you select a card to play. Something like it does when you play a damage card with vulnerable. Um... You mean, like, change this number? Or, I'm sorry, I pointed at the screen. You mean change this number over here? Can you explain more about that, Professional? Because I, I want to understand. I'm a game developer, so I want to... I want to steal your little... bit of advice. Figure out what you mean. Um, so we can either extend the weak or the vulnerable. Close on does more damage as well. Iron Wave's always happening. Let's do that. Um, I think we don't care about extending the stats. Okay, yeah, just preview it here. That makes sense. Might be kind of confusing in a screenshot, though, but I guess you don't really care about them. Um, if we close line, we do 18 damage. He goes to 37. We're doing 37 next turn. No, our max is going to be like 27. Um... If we're not killing him next turn, then the statuses are wearing off. Um, so we need to bash so that he is vulnerable, so that we can still kill you. Subject on that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's... F-Blue. Thank you. Um, this is slightly lower damage, but we need to get a kill in two turns. Wow. Darn, terrible sundial turn. Um, the three strikes are always happening. Oops, maybe uh, maybe this was supposed to be a flex bot. Um, I'm going to go back and restart the fight if flex bot is lethal. Let's figure out how much damage flex bot would do. So it would be uh, 11 uh, plus 5 is 16. 16 times um, 3 is 42. And the existing one did 9, so he was at, he was at 43. So it was not lethal. Um. Uh, okay. So we have to kill him next turn. Looks like pretty good to do that. Um, the defends either block for one or zero per card. I don't see any reason to not play them. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think we only blocked for one with both of those, but that's fine. Okay. Well, that was painful, but we got there. Um, we're a little bit low on damage. It's Guardian, though. We don't need much damage to kill the Guardian. Um, pretty slow. Um, could pick Intimidate. The worst fight for Intimidate is um, Gremlinob, and we just fought him, so we can't fight him again. Um, there's some floaty bits in my tea. I'm going to stop drinking that. I don't know what's going on there. Milk solids? Honey? I don't even know. Um, the Intimidate primarily functions in Act 1 to strip off artifact charges from sentries so that we can shockwave them, right? Um, in Act 2, and later, it, like, actually blocks, right? Um, we kind of want to have a bunch of card draw to do the Sundial thing. We also want to add cards to the deck that don't stay in the deck, like Intimidate. Um, so it makes some sense. Um... The uh, weak is pretty effective against Guardian. 
It's also effective against the Logabulin. Yeah, I think we're going to grab the, the Intimidate. Uh, this is an upgrade. We've only got one more Elite. Uh, and then these could spend some health. I think with a Blood Pot we're going to take an upgrade. As long as there's a good one. Shockwave's good. Iron Wave's good. Uh, probably don't want to do Bash because it makes it worse against Logavillain. We can't set up the Vulnerable. Um, could upgrade Shrug it off. That's a big, big part of the deck right now. Clothesline has a pretty high drawn played rate. I think it's going to be Iron Wave though. I like Iron Wave Plus quite a bit. Clothesline is such a weird upgrade, because you, you get, like, two extra damage, which is pitiful for a two-cost card, right? You get an extra one damage per energy, but you get an extra weak, and um, sometimes that matters a lot. I think for this deck, we don't care about that, because we have an Intimidate and a Shockwave, and it's floor seven. So I think we don't care about weak. So I'm actually not going to upgrade Shockwave or Clothesline or Intimidate, because we have all three of them, right? I think their upgrade priority goes down. Uh, same for Bash with the Shockwave. So I think it's really just Shrug it off or Iron Wave, and I think Iron Wave is quite a bit better than Shrug. Three stats versus four. Side me up. He's trying to steal my money. At least one strike and one defend is happening. Right, if we feel slow on damage, maybe we should do a second strike here. I think I'm gonna risk it and do two defense. I wanna heal some health. Uh, clothesline shrug box out. Let's shrug first. Okay, if we'd drawn the uh, intimidate, we probably would have bashed instead of clothesline. Okay, no attack here. Which means we gotta get him next turn. We have a flex spot if we're not getting there. Um, uh, bash strike is enough. Got him. Ooh, look at that. Not only did we heal for 5 on the fight, we got a regen pot, which is plus 11. So plus 16 health off of a hallway fight. Not bad. Uh, we could take Thunderclap to increase the amount of AoE debuffs that we have. Going for a random sadistic nature build. <laughs> hey, Flintlock. Uh, I think we, we've already got Shockwave, which does the, the same work as Thunderclap. Also, could we talk about how Thunderclap is an attack that does damage, whereas Shockwave is a skill that does not do damage? Both of them are thematically extremely similar. Um, and... Uh, like, why does this one do damage? What's, what's the deal? Like, Shockwave and Thunderclap look like they're just... They're different by, like, how far away you are from the blast. And, like... Why, though? Shouldn't Thunderclap do, like, way more than Shockwave? I don't understand the relationship between those two cards. <laughs> um, it's possible that not playing Intimidate was a mistake. Um, I... It, was he... Uh, we had Intimidate in hand during the... During the block turn? I think you're probably right. Um, I missed that. Obviously, Thunderclap is orange stuff. Shockwave is blue stuff. Oh, right. My bad. Blue Lightning. Uh, do we pick any of these? I think no is the answer. I don't want to bloat up the deck with a Thunderclap, and we've already got the debuffs. Ghostly Armor is kind of close to getting picked, but we have a Shrug and, like, a lot of weak. Ghostly Armor is pretty good against uh, Guardian, though. Also, we can get rid of Ghostly Armor by just not playing it. I guess I will pick Ghostly Armor. Hey, yeah, Matryoshka, do your thing. Akabiko. Uh, Ancient t has got to be better than Sapphire Key, right? Especially if we're trying to um, do Sundial stuff, right? We want our turn one to be really explosive. Here they are, sentries. Um, I don't see any reason to hold the regen pot. This fight's definitely going to be long enough. I think we just peel off an artifact charge and, um, and block...
Interesting. I was hoping for Intimidate Shockwave in the same hand. But this hand's pretty good too. Iron Wave, Ghostly Armor, Defend to prevent messing up the Intimidate Shockwave next turn. I guess if we draw Intimidate, it's never bad. But if we draw Shockwave, it's kind of bad. Ghostly Armor, Iron Wave, Defend is fine too. Maybe should have striked instead of defending if we want to like make sure he's dead before the next cycle. He should be already dead though. Sweet. Um, next turn we've got one strike, so I'll, I'll put a strike into him now to ensure that he's dead. We could use the flex spot, and then why would I do that? Who's the next target? Um, if we strike him, we're really unlikely to kill him next turn. Um, is it possible? Yeah, double strike sh Iron Wave probably does it. Um, this hits from for 9, is it 33? No, that doesn't do it. It's like 30 damage. Um, so we're never killing him ne next turn, so let's try to kill him before he attacks twice. Probably also not very realistic, but could happen. Keep this in the deck. Got some good damage. 16 is going to be tough. We have to get, like, clothesline strike, basically. But again, could happen. Ooh, close. Got the clothesline. I'm going to shrug first in case we draw... I'm not sure what I was hoping for. Oh, this is kind of a turn. Well, fair enough. All the good stuff at the bottom of the deck. Pretty unusual to have a good sundial turn against sentries. There we are. If I shrug, am I ever sad? No. Okay. Guess we don't get to play the strike. I don't really care about the uh, uh, ghostly armor. Probably never redrawing that anyway. Okay. Ooh, a mummified hand. You don't say. Well, now we pick a metallicize, right? I don't know if I would have picked a metallicize before the relic, but metallicize now is super good. Um, extra question marks or extra fights? Um, question marks could be like Scrappoos, get an extra relic, Odd Mushroom, Shining Light. I think we're probably no on Shining Light. That sounds a little risky. I guess we have a Blood Pot, though. I guess we're probably yes on, on Shining Light, then. Uh, well, if we're yes on Shining Light, we should definitely do question marks, right? Oh, crap. Um... We want Metallicize to hit Bash, but we can't do Metallicize first, or else it doesn't work. I guess we can just Bash Fat Gremlin to death and then Metallicize and Strike, probably Wizard. Okay, he's charging up. Oh my god, you bastard. Uh, let's play this. Let's keep this in the deck. And then I guess we're striking Shield Gremlin? Oof. I'm gonna get blasted here. Thank you, Shield Gremlin, for not hitting him again. Uh, Shockwave Iron Wave, I guess? We want him to be weak. Unless we can kill him with Flex Pot. Uh, this is 13, so do 23 with the Flex Pot. Okay. I mean, it saves 30 health. <laughs> Can't imagine where it's too, too wrong. Uh, 
Uh, do we shrug? No, these are good cards for next turn. We can just close on Shield Grumman and Duff. We're not getting thrashed, we're fine. I mean, we did, did use a flex bot, but... Uh, Flame Barrier seems pretty good against Guardian. We need that Corruption if we're going to pick a Flame Barrier. Also, Corruption Mummified Hand is a great build to be in. I like this Sundown Mummified Hand thing. This is going to work out for us. Um... Shockwave or Clothesline? I think Shockwave? No, does that ever... We never kill one, right? Next turn with Shockwave. We don't have enough damage. We would need Shockwave into next turn Clothesline. I guess Clothesline just kills one, huh? <laughs> you just Clothesline him. Defend, take three. Seems okay. Three Laos fight, more like two Laos fight. Okay. I was killed myself. Uh, Feel No Pain seems pretty good in a deck with a Mummified Hand and a deck that's trying to exhaust all of its cards. Um, okay. Great. World of Goop. Uh, we were trying to spend health on power. This is kind of the weakest way to do that, but it is still a way to do that, so I guess I will. 11 HP, we go to 24. We do this fight. We might heal on it, but we might die without blood pot. We already fought Gang of Gremlins. How bad can this possibly be? It's like Gang of Slimes is the only bad one. Gang of Slimes in a bad draw could be really upsetting, but I don't think it's likely. Big Slam. Um, Shockwave Ghostly Armor makes sense. We can just like Iron Wave Ghostly Armor defend. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep the ghostly armor. Let's play the iron wave. Um, shrug it off. Save me. Okay, taking five, getting a good setup next turn. Probably. Or drawing much powers. Okay. This worries me. Alright, took four here. Should be the last damage we take, ideally. Not a great um, fight. There's a Pommel Strike. I think we need those for Sundial, right? Take a Pommel Strike and upgrade it. Is 19 enough for the Guardian? Got a lot of block stuff. Flame Barrier, Metallicize, Shockwave, Ghostly Armor. This deck needs a True Grit and a Fiendfire. Palm Strike seems like kind of a risky pick here. It's a common, but we need two of them. Or like something else that costs zero. Yeah, we do have a Blood Pot. It's hard to imagine like actually dying. Spot Weakness is so strong though. And it's like way more obvious that we win the fight if we pick Spot Weakness. I think I'm gonna take Palm Strike. 
And it's clearly the Pommel boss. We need that Pommel getting upgraded. Um, other options are Shockwave, Flame Barrier, the Powers, um, Shrug. Yeah, it's Pommel. Okay. Do you have my Fiend Fire? I heard bosses have rare cards. Let's go ahead and Pommel Strike before Metallicize. We want to hit something that costs two. Like a Shockwave. Um, we don't have a split unless we Fire Pot. I'm not afraid of using Fire Pot, but... Be nice to save it. We do block for uh, 26 though, so we only take one. If we just flame barrier shrug. We're kind of we're wasting time on these uh, debuffs though. I'd rather split now and have him be weak for uh, one of his guard mode turns. Actually, I kind of don't want to split him because these uh, we've only got three defends, and I don't, I don't really want to go through two uh, spike mode turns with only three defends. So I'm gonna intentionally not split him. So fierce. So bashy. Um, do we keep the clothesline active? Or do we keep the vulnerable or the weakened active? I think weak is pretty important in the fight. Um, it also does more damage. Okay. Okay. Um, strike gets... Oh, we take no damage, because we have the plated armor. Or, Metal says it's not plated armor. We're overblocking by three, which means we can fit a strike. Flame barrier on the four times attack turn. Yes, please. Does mean his weak is wearing off. Uh, actually, we can we can proc pommel strike here, and then we can flame barrier and close line, or proc, proc uh, which we call it Sunda. Keep the dream alive. Pow! 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 Do we take the exact split, or do we not split? Oh, this is a great turn for a feast down. Yep. I missed a pow. I'm not saying enough pows. My mistake. I apologize. Um, we can bash. But do we really care if he's vulnerable next turn? He's still um, he's still spiky mode next turn. I apologize. That's correct. Um, I think we just iron wave strike. Flame Barrier Defend. Flame Barrier's gotten like 24 damage in. <laughs> it's a pretty good Flame Barrier. Um, shrug Double Defend seems fine. Blocks out. We're gonna get Vent Steamed here. We're too slow. Uh, let's Shrug... Um, Flame Barrier is less block than Ghostly Defend. Um, also, we want to keep the Ghostly in the deck if we can. Can we split? We cannot. We're off by eight. Um, hmm. We block for 15 plus the eight, 23 plus three, 26. So we take 10. Seems pretty survivable. Hey, good morning, Cthulhu. Alright, fine. Um, I do not want to get vent steamed. This is uh, vulnerable and frail. Um, or weak and, and vulnerable. I'm at 8, so I think we're going to use the fire pot here to split. Uh, 
Uh, Flame Barrier Pommel Strike makes sense. This is a pretty good turn next turn. Pretty happy with that, but... Oh well. We do also need to kill him. Uh, we can take four to develop six damage. I'm not that desperate for damage. I think we're getting there. Uh, let's pommel strike. Let's see what we can draw. Iron wave strike is lethal. Great. Bit of a squeaker, but we managed to save the blood pot. Uh, Reaper, huh? Uh, double tap does make an infinite combo go. Um, because double tap... Uh, pommel Strike uh, draws four cards, including the original Pommel Strike, and shuffles four times. Um, but that means we can't combo with, um, uh, what's it called? Corruption. Because then the double tap would go away. And there's a Reaper here. We don't do any strength scaling, so maybe the Reaper's not good. Immolate's also, it's, Act 2's coming up. If we're behind on damage, Immolate will catch us up. Felt like a very slow Guardian. Should probably take the Immolate. Um, Reaper's got a good dream, though. Pick a Reaper and a do-wield. Do-wield. Mummified hand. Shenanigans. Um, I wish there was a Corruption here. I would like to just go and be a combo deck already. I think we have to take Immolate. So we survive Act 2. Okay. Um, if we are doing infinite combos, we don't really care what enemies are doing, so we could take Dome. Makes some sense. Uh, Coffee Dripper would make more sense if we hadn't just skipped a Reaper. Coffee Dripper Reaper is great. We don't have any healing outside of Burning Blood. Could definitely pick Dripper. And Fusion Hammer. If we pick Fusion Hammer, we can't upgrade the second Pommel Strike. Uh, but I don't think we need to. Let me just make sure really quick. Um, yeah, that's true. We have a pot. Um, does Pommel Strike Plus and Pommel Strike Minus work as a Sundial combo? So per cycle, we spend two energy and draw three cards. That means we shuffle three times per cycle. Or three times, yeah. So that works. So it's just... One cycle is three shuffles and two energy, so that works perfectly. Um, so that's fine. It's not really a good heart combo, because it doesn't block. Um, there's no, like, talk to the hand to make it block, right? Oh, there's anger. Anger works. Or uh, rage, rather. So we could rage and then pommel strike combo. So we don't need any upgrades for that. Um, Tripper is the best energy relic in the game, IMO. It's not, not, you're not wrong. Um... I think it probably is. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Outside of like, yeah, it, if we're if we're going for perfect situation, then Art of War is probably better. Um, that's not even a boss relic. Art of War is a common. But having no downside is pretty nice. I feel like the danger with Coffee Dripper is this isn't actually a very strong Act 2 deck. Um, so we're gonna get we're gonna get beaten up a little bit in hallway fights. Um, and I'm worried that we will die because of that. I mean, we kind of get our, our pick here, right? Like, the, these are kind of three of the best, like, energy relics we could find. I don't know if there's any better, actually. Um... I mean, probably we would prefer, like, um, Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid would be super nuts, because then we wouldn't, we don't have to draw a 10-card hand, we just 
dome for two turns, or uh, pyramid for two turns, and then we're there. Um, dome is scary, though. Especially with our, if we're trying to pick corruption, corruption plus dome is like not really where you want to be. But if you pick corruption and then you combo that turn or the next turn, then it doesn't really matter, right? You can just do whatever. Um, but if we do corruption, then the rage trick only works once, right? We can only uh, rage pommel strike combo one time. So we'd be relying on like second wind and or like true grit to exhaust the rest of the deck. Fiend fire maybe. Hmm. Why are people against fusion hammer? What, what upgrades do people are people really wanting? Shockwave, intimidate. I'm not seeing it. I feel like we've got all the good upgrades. I'm not really. I don't need shockwave or. Intimidate upgraded because I have both, and I've got a clothesline and a bash, right? Like, we're kind of good on debuffs. You're stuck on Ascension 6. Well, tune in. Hopefully, I've got some, got some good tips for you. Uh, let's see, what's Ascension 6? Start each run damage. That's not a particularly difficult one. I don't think you should... Uh, if you can beat Ascension 5, you can beat Ascension 6. I believe in you. The, starting each run damage does basically nothing to Ironclad. Feel no pain, flame barrier, but feel no pain. Like it's okay, but it just like it's going against like national like twenty five percent. It's not much, and like flame barrier gets an extra four block, two block per energy. I'm just not that enamored. I mean, obviously, flame barrier plus is an incredible card, but like flame barrier minus is an incredible card. Mediocre upgrades save more health than resting over the course of a run. Huh. It's an interesting take. So let's say that we play Flame Barrier... We'll, we'll be generous. We'll say twice each fight. Um, and... But it overblocks sometimes, right? So we can't give it credit for the full 8 extra block per fight. Let's say it's like... Um, like 3 extra health per fight. Um, but we have to spend a, a campsite upgrading Flame Barrier, so it's already in a, like a, like a 30 health hole when it starts, and then each marginal campsite is an additional, like, 30 health. I don't know. That seems, seems questionable. Now, True Grip... We have to pick a True Grit, so we shouldn't pick a Fusion Hammer, right? Because uh, if we can't upgrade our True Grit, it could be a disaster in, in like, a, a heart fight, right? I think True Grit is an excellent reason to take Dripper here. I like Dripper and Fusion Hammer, just to be clear. I think these are both excellent. Um, I'm just, like, wondering what the what the reason is for not taking Fusion Hammer. And I think True Grit is the reason. We need a True Grit in the deck. We need to upgrade it. Can't do that. 22 cards in the deck, uh, one exhaust itself, two, uh, three, four, five. So it's like a 17 card deck virtually. Um, so we'd have to True Grit away seven different things. That's a lot of work for True Grit. Um, second Wind probably does some of that work eventually. All right, I'm going to take Dripper. Okay. What do we got? Got a bunch of money. Probably planning on going to a shop. Card removes are really good because we're trying to do Sundial Infinites. Um, so we want those card removes. Um, question marks are good. We want like bites, I think. Apparitions would be fine too, honestly. Um, but bites with Dripper is super good. Uh, so probably want to go on one of these two paths. This one, we're kind of locked in. We don't get to make any decisions ever. We just go all the way. Uh, it does get two... Oh, no. One bonus fire and two elites. One bonus fire, two elites, four question marks. Um, the This path is three early fights, which is a little bit much. 
Um, and then we could do three elites, but we'd be forced into a late shop as well. Seems awkward. I would grab an extra question mark and two extra fires going, going this way. Uh, that means we either only get one elite or we have to fight a mega elite. Fighting a mega elite with like all these fires is pretty insane though. Um, obviously we can't rest at the fires, um, but upgrades are still nice. Um, it's interesting for you to refer to that fight as Taskmaster. I always talk, think about that fight as slavers. It like took me a second to realize what you were saying, Vaseline, because I thought I assumed you were talking about Gremlin Leader when you said Taskmaster, but no, Taskmaster is actually the name of the big slaver, right? So clearly, you're talking about him. How do you handle Book of Stabbing? Yeah, I do not know. Um, weak is pretty effective against him. We've got a good source of weak. Um, and then we just have to get there, right? We just have to have Immolate and Pommel Strike be enough damage to kill him before he kills us. I think I'm going to go this way so that I'm not forced into two elites. I'm not sure I survived that. And I do want to go to that shop. Maybe it's a mistake to go to this first shop. Maybe we should take an extra question mark here. Go look on this path. Because there's a late shop here. Shard for Piercing Whale. I mean, Disarm is an Ironclad card. We don't have to go that far afield. Um, is Shockwave Immolate lethal? 29 plus... Um, what is it? 14? Yeah, so it'd be a 43 damage. So not enough to hurt either of them. Um, so then it's probably Shockwave, Iron Wave, Strike to get a little bit of block. Nah, I think it's just Shockwave, Immolate. Puts them both really low. I think that takes less damage overall in the fight. Stings this turn, though. Uh, it'd be great to set up some now, but we can't do it. Um, Headbutt says plus on it. Flex seems terrible. Cleave uh, is okay in Act 2, but I don't want to add too many attacks. Uh, I don't see any reason to pick Headbutt, right? We want a second Pommel Strike, not a Headbutt. Uh, time to make that choice. Are we going for this late shop and three elites? Or early shop? I think early shop. I don't feel super strong right now. I feel kind of kind of teetering on the edge here, so I want I want this shop to help stabilize me. Baseball. Gonna be tough to get through all of his artifact charges, but I think we actually might do it. All right, we'll go for it. Flame Barrier Bash. We could roll some dice on Metallicize, see if it hits one of the two cost things. Even if it doesn't, Ghostly Armor, Iron Wave is fine. Okay. Uh, I guess Bash Iron Wave. A Vulnerable Spirit Guardian. Don't see that every day. Uh, Immolate does 31 damage. And then double strike is better than clothesline? No, it's the same. So 31 plus 18. 49, he's at 55. Um, dang, we have no block, we're taking 22. I guess we can weaken him. Oops, I think I could have shuffled and set up Sundial there. Oops. Uh, War Cry is actually kind of nice. Uh, I don't have any, like, good reason to pick it. It's kind of bad against Chosen. This is the best argument against it. But it says plus, like, War Cry plus is not really that bad. It's bad against Time Lord. And kind of bad against the Heart. Um, thanks to the reminder, Flintlock. I didn't forget, I just wasn't able to do it very well. That's true, we do have a Feel No Pain. 
um, for the Warcry. We might end up picking a Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace would be a good way to fill up our hand to get the Pommel Strike loop going. And with Dark Embrace, Warcry is just zero cost, draw two cards, block for three, which is pretty insane. Go ahead and pick a Warcry Plus. Hmm. There's a Fiend Fire here. Um, also, Purity? Not crazy out of place here. If we're trying to exhaust the deck. Um, we also got a Shard. True. Anybody want to lobby for a crazy shard combo? Talk to the hand, sure. Talk to the hand's pretty good. We ha we have access to um, rage though. That's true. Peace pipe. Yep. Who needs hammer? Um, yeah, feel no pain seems like an obvious pick. I think we can't afford fiend fire, feel no pain, card remove, which are my like most want things. After Image is actually less than the Beat of the Heart. So After Image is not infinite block against the Heart. Although it would be nice. Um, there's no Finesse here. Finesse is something we're looking for. <laughs> Two After Images should be enough. We're, I think if you're, if you're planning on... Um, on... Damage capping, two is probably enough. I guess two doesn't, like, net block, though, right? Uh, can we afford that? I didn't actually do the math. Yeah, you're right, we should be able to afford that. It's only, like, 350 or something. Um, is that what we want to do? I mean, Feel No Pain's incredible. Um, Fiend Fire's incredible. Card removes... Okay, is it card remove versus purity? No, we can't pick purity, right? Purity is just, it's a blank card for most of the game. Uh, are we removing a strike or defend? I think almost certainly a strike. Strikes are the hardest cards to get rid of. Okay. Yeah, no, we need way more draw for purity. And then by the time we get it, we don't need it because Fiendfire scales with your... Uh, your uh, draw, right? I think it's gonna be Immolate Ghostly Armor Strike. We're gonna probably use the Distilled Chaos this fight. Oh dear, okay. Sure. Uh, I do want to get the Warcry out of the deck, so I'm gonna do that now. I'll just re-randomize the cost on, um, something. I'm gonna put a strike back on top. We only get to play one of these cards no matter what, unless it's Feel No Pain gets hit with the Metallicized proc. Um. I guess if I bash and then Metallicize, I always get to attack twice. Oh, that's true. I can play with the whole hand. Good point. Um, second feel in the pain makes shockwave block, and it's like shockwave strike. Maybe I guess it depends on what feel in the pain hits. Ideally, clothesline. Intimidate actually is a pretty good team. Pretty good hit. Oh, clothesline, great. Okay, three energy left. It's probably two defense. Yep. So we're actually setting up Sundial. Get hyped. Uh, Fiendfire is lethal. Everything's set up. Let's go. Searing Blow plus one. Is it time to get started? Floor 21. It's already upgraded. Think about the possibilities. No. 
Second Warcry, I think, is a no. Um, also, this one doesn't say plus on it, so it's worse. Minus one hand size. You can use Warcry to save something from Fiendfire, but no. Doesn't seem like a body slam deck. I think I'm skipping. Um, question mark to go get Bites or Apparitions. We're pretty low on current health, so I think we're pretty excited about those options. We could get Jaxed. Um, probably want to transform strikes. If we can transform them into powers or corruption, obviously that's super good. Um, Fiendfire, Second Wind, True Grit, a lot of good options. Anything that exhausts. Uh, dropkick, also. I hadn't, haven't said the word Dropkick so far, but Dropkick and um, Pommel Strike is obviously a infinite. Uh, that's true. Mutagen Spell Sakabeko is not, not crazy. But we don't actually have any strength scaling right now. Or any strength scaling payoffs. Uh, sorry, we don't have either of those two. We don't have strength scaling or payoffs. So it's not like we're gonna, you know, uh, Mutagen's Akabiko, Pommel Strike, uh, a Pommel or something, right? Um, if we transform a card, how likely are we to get something that's sort of like vaguely exhaust synergy? So I'm gonna include like anything that says exhaust on it, any powers, um, Dark Embrace. Uh, let's go look that up. Um, I am going to build a spreadsheet so that I don't lose track. So hold on to your hats. Um, I feel like I did this recently. Oh, I actually already have something called Ironclad Exhaust, which I imagine is this exact thing. Um, and it says that about a third... Which is irritating, because that's what it is for Watcher, too. Uh, Alright, let's Transform 2. I think Transform 2 is the clear clear pick here. Get to remove two strikes, replace them with better cards, and uh, potentially get Feel No Pain synergy stuff. Uh, Reckless Charge Hemokinesis. Well, those are better than strikes, I guess. Um, maybe with a Reckless Charge in the deck, we like add an Evolve at some point. Use that to draw cards. We do need to find a way to draw 10 to get the Pommel Strike thing to go. Um, this is a disappointing outcome. This is not good. It's not terrible, but disappointing. All right, we're always smithing because we have Coffee Dripper. Um, Feeling the Pain could be an upgrade. I think with two of them, I'm less, uh, less inclined to upgrade it. I guess Reckless Charge is actually pretty good with um, because we have Mummified Hand, so it can't be a target, which is nice. That's true. Evolve is, is already a good card. Um, I think it's either Immolate or Fiendfire. Probably Immolate. Um, Fiendfire is better against Book of Stabbing, but Immolate's better against the other two. Yeah, I'm going to do, do Immolate. It's a whole lot of damage. All right, let's see it. What do you got? Slavers. Okay. Um, should I just distill Chaos right now? What blocks you from resting? Uh, this coffee driver. Our Act 1 boss relic. Um, if Distilled Chaos hits uh, Immolate or Shockwave, we're pretty happy. If it hits Fiendfire, what do I think? Uh, I think we're pretty happy with Fiendfire. It does 15 damage per card with the Akabiko up. So we end up hitting one of them for like 75. I'm killing them. Any target's good if we're doing that. Uh, flame barrier's good. Powers are good. The bad things are like strike and clothesline, which wastes the Akabiko. But we're, it seems like we're wasting it on a single target no matter what. So I think I'm going to go for it. Okay. Sure. That was not great. <laughs> but I'll take it. Um... All right, let's kill this Red Slaver before we get netted or something else nasty. Here's the Immolate. Uh, we can play the whole hand. Um, 
so let's do that. I guess we want to weaken him because he's going to be alive for longer. Probably killing the other guy next turn. I can't guarantee that, though. The only attacks here are Iron Wave and Pommel Strike. We'd have to get both. So I guess I'll put him at one. Iron Wave gets the kill. Um, Shockwave blocks. We could Warcry something and save it for next turn. Uh, we probably want to line up Pommel Strike and Fiendfire next turn, so let's see if we can do that. Okay. And I'll save the Ghostly Armor. Get rid of that. Okay. Not like we really need this much damage, but... Oh, crap. <sighs> Messed up the Sundial for no reason. Molten Egg. Well, those bites are looking really nice now. <laughs> Give me those bites. Uh, second wind, it's obviously incredible. Uh, we've been looking for a second wind to get rid of these uh, defends and, and stuff. Uh, actually, not too many targets for that. Just like defends and um, shrug it off and flame barrier. That's pretty much it. Shockwave and intimidate exhaust themselves. Ghost of the armor exhausts itself. Still good to have them for, uh, for statuses as well. Gives us resiliency against uh, the heart and nemesis and... Um, Spire Elites and stuff. I see zero cost in flame. Yeah, I don't think so. There's no uh, no multi attacks in the deck. Um, not enough card draw to really support that many attacks. Um, most of our damage is going to be coming from this Immolate Plus and whatever we take out of this top, Molten Egg. I don't think we need in flame. Second wind's a core piece. I'm not skipping it. Um, okay, upgrading a what? Uh, all the good options are done. Feel no pain, fiend fire, intimidate. Second wind, hemo. Hemo's got a good upgrade. Just five extra damage. Chonk. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's probably Fiend Fire, right? Get that Book of Stabbing damage. Oh, a White Beast Statue and a Potion Belt. Wow, that's strong. Uh, Tiny Chest looks pretty skippable here. I don't think we're ever proccing Tiny Chest. We'd have to get all four question marks in Act... Act, uh... Three, or we could skip the elite and get three right now. Hmm. That's interesting. I do want the question marks because I could get bites now with the um, molten egg. I think actually, I, I think I am going to skip the mega elite. I was planning on doing mega elite, but three question marks with a molten egg seems really strong. So I guess I'll take the tiny chest then. Thanks for the follow, Michael Tall. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. Michael, maybe? I don't know. There's a lot of different ways of pronouncing Michael. Miguel. Snake point. Heads up. Um, we're going to want to play Shrug. Hopefully we get a two-cost thing and decost it. Nope. All right, well, we have enough energy to play the whole hand, so why not? It's a pun on Mikhail Tal. Chess player I like a lot. Neat. Uh, might skip branch later. Yeah, I think that's likely. I don't think we're... Uh, yeah, I think with, um, with the sundial combo, pretty likely to not want... Um, Bites does add cards to the deck. That's true, um, but I think with we we need a we need a regen solution for Coffee Tripper. We've been taking too much chip damage. Um, I think even if it adds three cards, I think we're okay with that because they're the three cards it's adding are bite pluses, uh, which are pretty good. Um, are we skipping any of these attacks? Probably Hemo if we're skipping one. 
Uh, no, I don't think so. This only does three damage and gets a daze, but the daze blocks for three. Yeah, but we have to kill Snake Plant, so let's do that. Um, it's true we do get a white boost potion. Those are those like that healing is pretty intermittent though. I don't think you can really depend on that. Um, as Ironclad, you do have multiple outs for healing, right? You can get Regen Pot or Blood Pot, or like Fairy, I guess, uh, if you want to count that as healing. Um, but uh, there's there's quite a few potions. There's like 30 potions, so two out of 30 is not a good rate. Uh, max block here is Second Wind without playing Feel No Pain. Give Second Wind an extra target. Uh, just find Ornithopter. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, second one blocks for 16 if we give it those two. 16 plus 7 is 23. Means we take one. Uh, I doubt we're going to play Feel No Pain for future benefit when we can barely block this turn, so let's just do that. Okay. It's the debuff turn. Perfect time for the Flame Barrier. Uh, Metalsize has only two cost targets here. That's pretty neat. But I really want to play Bash Clothesline. I don't really care about the Flame Barrier. So it's like a two thirds to develop Metalsize for free. Fiendfire, Immolate, and Pommel Strike and Shockwave would all be good draws for Warcry. Let's try Warcry. Got an Immolate. Set up Flame Barrier for next turn. And then I think just bash Immolate. We need to get fancy. Okie doke. We are full up now. Armaments plus. Be it be good if we had took the uh, fusion hammer. Uh, a third wind is available. Get a second second wind. Um, hmm. First, second wind was, I think, a pretty obvious pick. Second, second, second wind is a little bit sketchy. You kind of end up like second winding your second wind when you do that, which is fine. Ironically, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe two second winds just gives them both more targets, right? I'm increasing the skill density of the deck. Which makes second wind better. And then there's two second winds in the deck, so it's but it's great the second wind is better. Seems like kind of a roundabout way to think about deck construction. Um Where's my card draw? I need like a battle trance. Or a second pommel strike. Which I've been waiting for forever. Um I think I will take a third wind. Upgrades or question marks? Uh, I assume it's the question marks, because that's why I went this direction. Okay. Ah! Triple cultist. <laughs> what do we do? Um, if I don't see Immolate this turn or next turn, I'm drinking Distilled Chaos, but I'm going to save it for now. And I'm going to get rid of these defense. I don't want to redraw those. Okay, I do not see Immolate here. Um, if we hit Fiendfire, are we dead? Maybe we play Feel No Pain so that if we hit Fiendfire, we also block out. I guess we could Shrug, too. Okay, let's start with Shrug, see if we hit Immolate. Nope. Um, thanks for the follow, F Blue. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Batch. So we're getting three cards out of 15... Um, roughly a 20% chance. Are there any bad hits? Immolate's good. Fiendfire's good if we play the Feel No Pain first. Flame Barrier's great. Uh, Pommel Strike is not amazing, but might draw into Immolate. 
Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, so let's play the Fiend, Feel No Pain first, in case it's Fiend Fire, and then do the thing. Okay, I'll take it. Looks like we're trying to kill this one first. Oh, I probably... That's too much damage. I should have uh, put him at wherever uh, Immolate kills him. Yeah, that's a mistake. But not a very important one. Um, we could Sundial and try to... No, we can't even shuffle next turn. Oh, wait, we can. Palmal Strike, Warcry could put, could put Sundial on one. Uh, but we'd have to take three damage to do it. Nah, it's not worth it. Liquid Memories. Second Shrug seems good. Um, some more card draw. We've got a lot of defensive cards. Two Second Winds, two Feel No Pains. This would be our second Shrug it off. A Ghostly Armor, Metallicize, Shockwave, Clothesline even. Um, but I, eventually we want to pick Corruption, right? And Shrug it off is a great card with Corruption, so... One of those block commons I will take on floor 48 almost every time. Yeah, Shrug Plus is amazing. Um, I don't know why you're mentioning floor 48. Maybe you mistyped because we're on floor 28. That's confusing to me. Are you talking about like just before the Act 3 bosses? One of the best commons. I think best common is probably Flurry of Blows, right? But I don't, I don't disagree. The Library. Healing's pretty realistic here. Uh, we are at 25, but we do still have that blood pot kicking around. Um, so I think we read here. We're looking for corruption and a second pommel strike. Um, we'll take a power if we can. If we can't find that, yeah, there's no bad outcome from this, right? We never miss a power. Dual wield will work. There's corruption. Well, I called corruption out by name, and here it is. So I should probably pick it, right? If we pick corruption, are we infinite right now? Um, we have a 27 card deck. Hey, Sherwins, good morning. 27 card deck minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cards. So yeah, we have a 10 card deck if we pick Corruption. We still need a way to draw 10 cards, and we need a second Pommel Strike, but we're almost there. Um... Is it ever True Grit or Do Wield? Havoc can also exhaust stuff. Um, no, it's corruption. <laughs> okay. You got my bites? Potions. Uh, all right. Uh, probably drink the blood pot to make room for swift pot. Sneko oil is not very good on non sneko decks. Maybe get rid of the elixir for it. Elixir's. I mean, elixir's kind of good in this deck because we have two feel no pains. But I do like drawing cards. Maybe we get rid of the uh, speed pot. Because if we sneko oil and then elixir, we're in a pretty decent spot. We drop in frames? Drat. Yeah, I do see that. Um, hold on just a second. Wife suspiciously non-responsive. Um, speed pot's pretty good with corruption. Um, pretty reticent to just give up a speed pot for a Sneko Oil. Sneko Oil is kind of kind of wild. Sneko Oil can make um, make Pommel Strike cost zero. If it makes like a Pommel Strike and a Shrug it off cost zero, we have a combo. Thanks for the follow, Chinese Democrat. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the vegetable patch. I don't think that's a good way to play the game. Also, we can't really reduce the deck size to 10 without playing Corruption, and if we play Corruption, then Shrug it off doesn't work. 
Um, and we don't have any cards that, or any attacks that draw other than Pommel Strike. Um, that's true. Sneko Oil can make a really good Fiend Fire. Great point. Yeah, I think drawing five cards, I guess, is better than a Speed Pot, but, like, not, like, super obviously. All right, no bites available. Um, pretty sure Immolate's happening this turn. Um, Immolate kills this Fungi Beast, which makes me vulnerable, which is not great. So is it like Immolate, Second Wind, Strike? Uh, if we immolate, we he's hitting for 31. Second wind blocks for 10. So we're talking about taking 21 damage. We also have a white beast statue and a full potion bar, so we should probably do something. Um, not a bad time to snack out oil, because if we uh, draw five cards, corruption will probably get decosted, and then second wind will cost zero. Likely discounts Immolate as well. All right, let's use the Snack Oil right now. We got a Fiend Fire. So Fiend Fire is clearly lethal uh, on Parasite, and then we can just deal with Fungi Beast later. Um, can't afford Immolate Fiend Fire, obviously. We could strike the Fungi Beast first. Oh, wait, no, then Fiend Fire does less damage. We do 10 damage, 10 times... 8, right? So this still does 80 damage. It's just not lethal. Leave him at 7. Alright. Boop. <laughs> exactly what Flintlight called out has happened now. You know, Sneko Oil could make for a really explosive fiend fire turn. Um, let's see, do we try and sandbag this fight to get a shuffle for Sundial? Um, it looks pretty sandbaggable. Alright, let's try it. Maybe we can get two Sundial procs in this fight. Is that outrageous? I'll get two if you let me. <laughs> Would love to set a sundial. I guess we do. Sweet. Um, I'll strike this turn so that the uh, iron wave is more likely to be lethal. And I will not go slay armor to get rid of it. I guess I should have clotheslined instead of striking. Oh well. Sweet. Okay. Oh no, the frame drops. Here, I'm gonna go investigate. Hey, there's our battle turns. Share stream, Pog Champ. Um, yeah, I think Battle Trance is like um, incredible here, right? Um, it's uh, <laughs> now this is a Searing Blood. Deck. Good point. What am I thinking? Um, the problem with Battle Trance is we can't use it to like draw the ten cards to start the Pommel Strike combo because Battle Trance uh, itself stops you from drawing. But uh, Battle Trance is a really good card. Just get a big fiend fire or something. Uh, probably Battle Trance gets the upgrade right away. Corruption's not bad. Second wind. 
could get an upgrade. Um, I think it's going to be Battle Trans. Um, I need to, like, take stock here, because, like, how do we actually beat Champ? You feel me? Like, <laughs> um, it seems like we just don't really scale. I guess we just immolate him repeatedly. That seems scary. I'm not, not very confident in this, this strategy here. Uh, well, if we want to play immolate repeatedly, we need Battle Trance to be upgraded so that we... We draw immolate more. Alright, hold on to your hats, chat. This might be a rough one. We definitely kick corruption on one, right? Let's see what this is doing. Um That's true, we could we could become a barricade deck. Good point. Gotta beat Champ first, though. We do have a lot of potions. Um, no strength scaling is pretty rough. Uh, we can block out easily this turn. But at a cost. I guess we can just, like, feel no pain, ghostly armor, double defend, also blocks out. Uh, do we vulnerable pop? For the Hemo? I think we do. I think we need every every advantage here. Could consider saving the Hemo pot for the second or the vulnerable pot for the second phase, but I don't think we have that much time. Yeah, it's true. That, that tiny chest is really really getting in there. I think I am in a corruption. Okay. Um. Iron Wave blocks for seven. We could fiend fire some stuff. It's a block with field no pain. Um. I don't think we can lose the Immolate. I think we need that. So that's not getting being fired. We could lose everything else. Um, I think we're going to wait on a better Fiend Fire. Okay. Um, uh, let's draw some cards. Oh wait, maybe we should Reckless Charge first, because we have a second win in hand. So if we exhausted days, it would be helpful. There it is. Uh, alright. See a Flintlock. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Although the stream chat just won't be the same. Um, I think we need to close on this turn, so I'm going to keep the weak and everything. We have another six block coming from days, so I think I'm going to skip the flame barrier in second wind. It's a kind of important resources because of the uh, corruption that's been played. We're already blocking for 18, we don't need overblock that much. Oh, right, and the metal says. Um, spending a shrug on nothing seems pretty bad. I think I'm going to use this speed swift pot here to get the, uh, the bash and the strike out. Should have discarded the second one and played the strike. Um, yes. Yeah, that would have been a better plan. Although it would have worked out actually worse, technically, because he wouldn't have been vulnerable for the 
um, for this rake. So we'll just call it planned, calculated. Um, we are blocked out, so I'll just bash and strike. Seems like the turn one corruption has not gone that badly for us. These are always getting played, and then as few of these as we can. If we flame barrier, we split him. That seems like a pretty bad split, so I don't think we want to do that. So I'll just play these two. All right, it's time for the big split. Um, I'm gonna reckless charge before battle trance so we can draw the days. Um, interesting. Maybe like Iron Wave, Hemo, Fiendfire? Should Liquid Memories. Liquid Memories what? The MLA? Um. I definitely want to save the Iron Wave, right? I'm definitely saving the Hemo. How about that? Let's start there. Is Iron Wave good? Or would I rather Iron Wave just be 10 damage right now? Or 15 damage? The 5 block is... It's the only source of block that survives Corruption, but we still have both second wins, so I don't think I'm too worried about it. So I'm going to let the Iron Wave go, and the Strike, obviously. Um, do we need an Immolate? Uh, he doesn't purge his debuffs until the end of next turn. So let's see if we can just draw the emulate. I think we can probably save the Liquid Memories. So emulate's lethal now. Um, do we think we're getting lethal next turn anyway? The Vulnerable is going to wear off. He's going to purge that. So we have 12 damage from the clothesline, 7 damage from the Reckless Charge. It's only 19. Doesn't seem like we're getting there without it. Seems like such a big resource to waste, though. Do we have a redraw? We do redraw with Shrug. Oh, wait. No, we don't. All right. I think we have to do it. Executes too much damage. Corruption. Uh, no, he didn't mentalize. We went pretty fast. That was like turn six or something. So he didn't have a ton of time. Uh, bludgeon's kind of neat with uh, Mummified Hand. Bop. <laughs> I didn't know Twitch Global had a bop emoji. Bop. Um, feed seems great. Feed's a good card. It says plus on it. Uh, it also exhausts itself, so procs the field no pains. Um, doesn't count as deck size for the pommel strike combo. Um, okay. We could take a second corruption if we're worried about bottom decking the first corruption and, and dying. Yeah, feed is sustained, technically. A little bit. Yeah, we, we draw it really reliably. It is it is a little bit of a liability if it's in the same hand as Fiendfire, and we're like, I want to play Fiendfire, but I have to play feed. Um, I, think it's, I think it's probably good. Even if it's just one energy deal 12 exhaust, that's a pretty good card. Uh, Sneko Eye we can't pick because we're trying to do an infinite. Same with Velvet Choker. Uh, Sacred Bark's actually insane here. We've got a White Beast Statue and a Potion Belt. Um, so Sacred Bark, right? Um, do we ever pick Sneko Eye? If we pick Sneko Eye, we're pivoting to a, a Barricade deck, right? Because we have uh, 
corruption and stuff. We would need barricade. Um, I think that's a bad plan. We're like three cards short of what that would need. We'd need like a barricade and like two entrenches or something. Yeah, this Sacred Bark is pretty good. I mean, Sacred Bark is never like bad. Um, uh, cause like at least the interaction, interaction with regen pot is, is super busted. Going from 11 health to 55 is not exactly what you would expect from doubling the effect, but, um, yeah, let's pick a Sacred Bark. We did actually have a regen pot too. I didn't even think about saving it for bark. Okay, we have to fight a Mega Elite, which means we have to go here. So we can start one of these two places. Probably this one to get the two question marks. Uh, can we ever proc chest twice this act? Actually, we can. There's so many question marks here. So we get proc, one, proc once, then we need four more question marks. So one, two, three, four, five. Jeez. Uh, I guess this tiny chest was a good pickup. Can we proc it three times? That's insane, right? One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Jeez. Uh, even if Tiny Chest was on one, we could proc it twice. Um, we could take this path and still proc it before the Mega Elite. I'm not sure why we'd want the extra fight. It seems like we want the extra question mark. Um, if we get like a falling event, can it murder us? Worst case scenario, falling event is like corruption, battle trance, feed. It's pretty bad, but we can just give it the feed, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Or pommel strike instead of feed. Yeah, corruption, battle strength, battle trance, pommel strike would be rough. I think we'd end up giving it battle trance. Um. If this Mind Bloom offers us money, we can't spend it. Before the Mega Elite, at least. Okay. Um, Battle Trance before Corruption, right? Oh, is this Lethal? 18 times 3, 6, 7. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we can't proc Sundial before we do that, and it seems foolish to remain in this fight when we don't have to. Okay. Bye. Man, Fiendfire is such a busted card. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, Sever Soul when we already have uh, two second wins is kind of bad. Uh, Reckless Charge Plus is not crazy. If we're trying to get an evolve based draw 10 cards thing going. Um, second metallicize is also not crazy because we have mummified hand. I think we're mostly focused on finding um, uh, card draw. Reckless charge is the closest thing to being card draw, but it's also like negative card draw in its uh, no evolve state. And evolve is an uncommon and we're in act three. So I don't know if we can pick something based on a interaction with a speculative uncommon at this point. So I think we're skipping here. Are we really skipping Metallicize with a Mummified Hand? It seems difficult to justify. Yeah, I think Metallicize doesn't, doesn't really scale up well enough to pick an Act 3. We'll skip it. Kind of a rough skip. This is some good cards. Immolate seems good. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty easy to be a sucker for, for, uh, Metallicize. It's a good card. Uh, I guess Flame Barrier, right? We could Liquid Memories for a lethal right now, but it's like, we shouldn't do that. Make him dead to Iron Wave next turn. All right, what are we getting? Um, this doesn't draw cards, but it kills one. Uh, 
Uh, I want to play Field No Pain. If it hits, it, if it hits Shockwave, we'll play Shockwave. Otherwise, we'll just play a Second Wind. Or oh, it hits Second Wind, so that means we can play Shockwave and then Second Wind. Trying to set up for Feed here. Um, but we need to block for a bunch this turn. Man, I love Second Wind. Or, uh, Field No Pain. Field No Pain's so good. Uh, we can close line to kill that one, and then be sad that this one's coming back alive next turn. Let's shrug and see if feeds on top. Actually, if feeds on top, can we play it? We cannot, so I shouldn't shrug. Okay, let's just close line him to death, set him up to die to feed next turn. Eliminate blocks and develop some weak. Um, I think I'm going to play feed just for the feeling the pain block, unfortunately. Uh, good liquid memories to get a feed here. I assume. Um, actually, maybe that's not true. Yeah, we'd have to get. Oh yeah, Emily. No, Emily's too much damage. It would kill both. Um, hmm. Maybe if we. Uh, no, it's like no way to do it. Well, that's odd. This is not a great feed deck. We can't just really hang out, and wait for feed opportunities to come around. Gets two cards back, that's true. I guess I'll see the Warcry card before I corruption and exhaust either way. Um, we only need to block for 10 this turn, so I'll put Iron Wave back on top. Uh, thanks for the follow, Giraffe Pilot. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. I don't know if giraffes are qualified to be pilots. But don't worry, I won't tell the FAA. Uh, that was the wrong order. I should have played um, Corruption first, because then Defend couldn't have been a target. Small mistake. Their heads are already in the clouds. It's cute. Getting a little bit worried here. <laughs> Can I have my emulate back, please? There it is. Um, okay, feed's already gone, so... No side quests. Hey, there's a pommel strike. It says plus on it. Um, great. We just have to remove one card and find a way to draw ten. Can I get a gambling chip, please? <laughs> Uh, we have three chests left, because we're proccing Tiny Chest one more time and opening this chest. Um, so we can take this if we want, and we do want because of Reptomancer. And, you know, shapes. Uh, shrug before Battle Trance, or Battle Trance before Shrug? I think Battle Trance before Shrug. I don't think I really need to draw a million cards. Um, and like, Feeling the Pain, Shockwave, Defend already blocks out. Okay. Um, my computer's getting really bad performance. I don't know what's going on there. There's a Chrome tab acting up somewhere. Um, okay. Um, I'm 
Yeah, that the the frames that are getting dropped are not related to my game performing badly. Um, that's that's related to my wife's phone call going on upstairs, unfortunately. Um, all right, we're gonna reckless charge on exploder to set him up for feed, and block out without wasting the. Oh, I guess we don't have corruption, so this doesn't do anything. That's fine. Delicious Exploder. Um, yeah, uh, quality of service though, like that's, it mostly depends on the, um, um, the ISP, right? Um, we could theoretically do that in house, but uh, I don't think it's supported by the, uh, you can actually see this, the little puck um, on the, uh, uh, right there. That's my internet thing. So it, it comes out of the kind out of the wall behind the TV because uh, there's a cable modem upstairs somewhere. It turns into Ethernet behind the TV, and we pipe it into that uh, little chrome, little chrome puck, and that wirelesses it over to my machine. Um, and I don't think those things support QoS. <laughs> um, I think metallicized iron wave second wind is fine. Um, Google Wi-Fi does? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I should do that then. Um, maybe I should have played the Intimidate, because now I could have, could have applied a uh, clothesline. Let's see what we're getting here. Oh, we'll just feed fire him to death. Easy. Uh, we do 50 damage right now. It's not not to death, but we do have... Uh, we also block for 15. So we block for 18 total. I guess I'll play this Feel My Pain and then Fiend Fire. To block for more. You can select your PC in the app and tell it to prioritize the traffic in your favor. Huh. Um, is there an emulate coming up? There is. Can I have it? Yes. So emulate would kill him. We would take uh, 22 total from the spiker. Um, which we could get back with just the second wind. Uh, we have to play the second wind first. For reasons. If we corruption, it's guaranteed to hit emulate because everything else is a skill. Um, okay. Nope, second one first. <laughs> Don't get distracted. Uh, we do not have enough extra for a strike. We would lose two health. Although... Spikers are kind of scary after you've played Corruption. So we should consider this more carefully. I think we've got enough block to get through it. Oh, drat. I did the math wrong. This gives me an extra block resource. Um, I'll go ahead and take two to do a strike. I'm gonna get an extra sundial proc, which it looks like I can do. Okay. Oh right, I'm supposed to drink a potion. Um. Yeah, it would it would definitely degrade her uh, her signal quality. Although I suppose that the I, I suspect that the. Uh, Phone call that she's on is more uh, more resilient to um, low bandwidth than my my stream is right because at the beginning of the stream I have to like select exactly how much bandwidth I want. Um, so, um, but you can't do that at the beginning of a phone call, right? They just have to take whatever they'll get. 
Looks like we are, we've stopped dropping frames. So she, her call must be over. Uh, these are all attacks. We don't want attacks. We want to remove attacks from the deck. Gambler's Brew is pretty nice. Um, uh, are we really skipping it? Blockpot's insane. Elixir doesn't combo with uh, with Sacred Bark, but neither does Gambler's Brew. Fearpot barely does. I'm gonna skip a Gambler's Brew. Mm. If we're in trouble though, Gambler's Brew might help us where Elixir might not. But Elixir also might help us when Gambler's Brew might not. They're just different situations, right? Gambler's Brew helps us if we've got a handful of garbage. Elixir helps us if we've got a handful of attacks and we've played a, um, a uh, Feel No Pain. But I guess this situation is just more specific, right? Elixir currently lets us infinite loop, though. And we kind of want that, because we might not find a way to remove a strike. So I don't think I can see myself to removing Elixir. So I think I'm skipping Gambler through. Maybe I could skip Fear Pot? Nah, Fear Pot's really good. Mm, we do have a lot of sources of Vulnerable. Shockwave, Bash. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Not, not really as much as it seemed like in Act 1. When we took a Shockwave on Floor 1, we had tons of Vulnerable. But now it's a little bit more diluted. I think I like the Fear Pump. Uh, we don't need the extra question mark anymore. Because we only need four more. And we're getting sort of four of them involuntarily. Um, so we could skip it, but I think question marks are just better than fights. Um, not being able to heal would be kind of bad. Not tremendously bad, but we do have a feed in the deck, so we should probably not pick it. Uh, we can't get rid of the normalities very easily. Although, we can... We I mean, we have two second wins, right? Um, it's not like the normalities are impossible to get rid of. Um, the problem is, I'm about to go fight a Mega Elite, and there's no shop in sight. <laughs> um, to spend the money. So I think I'll just take a Rare Relic. And a Potion. Uh, do we just Fiend Fire immediately? How about, like, Fear Pot Fiend Fire? Yeah, let's do that. It does count as, as heal, yeah. If you if you feed um, without um, or with the mark of the bloom, you get the max HP, but you don't you don't heal up to it, towards it. Uh, this is a disaster. Um. I guess this is probably the block pot, huh? Okay. Uh, looks like we're not getting feed this cycle. Take one. Um, Warcry can do some stuff. We need eight block this turn, so I'll save the ghostly armor for later. Okay. Uh, we're losing this either way, so I might as well play it now. Uh, hey, Pixel Noise. Thanks for the subscription. Thanks for loafing around for seven months. Appreciate it. Haven't seen you in chat. What's going on? I mean, just like today, I haven't seen you. I'm not, like, accusing you of absence or anything. Just saying hi. 
Uh, I kind of want to save the second wind. There's burns in the deck, so <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to use that. I can't, I, maybe I just get rid of a defend though. No, these are these are eight block for zero. I don't really think I'm going to need that, but okay, it's done now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to feed this cycle, so it doesn't really matter what I do here. New schedule, new responsibilities. Well, that's exciting. What are your? What's your new thing? Uh, that's 18 damage. Delicious ghostly flesh. Get in my mouth. Prayer wheel. Uh, okay. Fire breathing is like the crappy version of evolve. I wish it was an evolve, but it's not. Uh, what do we got? A double tap. Nothing good. We do have a corruption, so it doesn't add a card to the deck, but I don't think it's worth adding. Uh, Thunderclap's not terrible, but we need to, um, <laughs> sadly it's not being a full-time mod. Uh, I can pay you in channel points. <laughs> Waiting on your response to my generous offer. <laughs> um, so we're skipping all these, right? Yeah, these are bad. Okay. Um, Giant Head should be really easy if we can get the infinite going. Uh, in order to get the infinite going, all we have to do is have Fiendfire Exhaust at least one attack. Then we should be infinite. Darn. I was looking for Corruption, did not find it. Okay. There's Corruption. Um, we could Battle Trance before or after Corruption. I think I'm going to do it before? No, I'm going to do it after. I want to get rid of the Battle Trance. I don't want that no-draw sort of Damocles hanging over my head in the future. Um... Well... Feedfire did not line up very well. We could feed fire next turn with the um, liquid memories. But we might draw a pommel strike next turn, which make that not work. I guess we can just use the pommel strike. I guess we'll try and feed in this fight. Pretty decent chance we can get this to work. Uh, we could just get rid of a second wind. I'm not sure we need it for anything. All of our skills are already exhausting themselves. Um, we shouldn't need to play ML8, so we don't, we're do not we not generating burns. Uh, Daze has already exhausted himself. Yeah, I don't need a second win in this fight. Should have played that before the attack for slow procs, but... Hopefully that doesn't matter. This is always getting played. Let's draw a card. Um... We play a Daze or not. Um, you've been picking up Slay the Spire later in your spare time. Yeah, well, I think Slay the Spire is super fun. Um, yeah, I've been playing it a lot on uh, on Android, although I was just on vacation, so I didn't play it at all. But um, now that's over, I'm back to Slay the Spire, the daily grind. Okay, so if we play both defends, get rid of them, draw these cards, Pommel Strike to draw the whole stack, and then we like Liquid Memories back, the Fiend Fire and a Strike or Immolate or something, and then we Fiend Fire away all these cards except for the Pommel Strike, and maybe the Feel No Pain. Uh, then the only car cards left in the deck are Reckless Charge, uh, so it's one... Two, three, four, five. Oops. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, 
and two pommel strikes. And I think that makes us lethal, right? Or uh, infinite. I think that works. So I'm going to play these. I think we don't need them. But not the Reckless Charge, because I want to draw all these cards. Uh, Palm Strike. Okay. I guess we can exhaust all these with just a second win. We're just missing the Bash and the Hemo. How many attacks do we need to get rid of to do an infinite? Um, we can only do an infinite with... Um, if there's only, like, six cards in the deck, because we don't have a way to draw a full hand. We just have to draw a hand with a Pommel Strike in it, and then Pommel Strike right from there. Um... So if we want only six cards left, what are those six cards? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, or nine, ten. So we have to get rid of four attacks to get down to six. Oh wait, no, we can do it with seven, right? Because then we pommel strike, draw the. Other card and the Pommel Strike, so we've drawn seven total and then we Pommel Strike forever. Um, okay, so we can do it with seven, so we need to get rid of three attacks. There's two attacks in hand, so yeah, if I Liquid Memories for a Fiend Fire and an attack, then we're down to low enough that we can Pommel Strike forever. Um, okay. But yeah, we have to get rid of attacks, so we can't just... Well, wait. If we feel no pain and then second win now, we exhaust these two cards... Generate 5 plus 6, so 11 per card. Block for 22. Um, take 8. And then we could just... Could we just naturally draw the Fiend Fire and exhaust a bunch of attacks? It seems like we can, right? We just have to... There just has to be, not be Pommel Strikes in hand, basically. So we don't really need to... We could probably save Liquid Memories, is what I'm saying. Okay. Do you have an attack shown above your head? Oh, uh, it's a it's a mod. Um, the uh, I think it's Minty Spire, so it just adds up all the enemy attacks and shows how much they are total. So if there were like, if there was a, if this was Reptomancer or something, it'd show like a hundred damage. Hey, Glade Pixie. Um, I guess Ghostly Armor blocks for more by just playing it than exhausting it. Um, I don't really see any reason to spend health on this. We're going to try an infinite next turn. Next turn? Maybe in two turns. Hmm. Okay, uh, start with Pommel Strike. More Pommeling. Okay, we didn't draw enough cards here. Um, we could Liquid Memories for both Pommel Strikes and draw four more. Um, and then Fiend Fire a whole bunch, but then we'd have Feed in hand, and I wanted to save the Feed. It looks like Fiend Fire's got only good targets next turn, so let's just plan on Fiend Firing next turn, as long as we don't take damage this turn. Which it looks like we don't. Or at least not much. Take four. That's fine. Or take one. Okay, here's the Fiend Fire. Uh, we can Fiend Fire three attacks, which is the dream. Uh, math is the poor man's talent. Wow. Uh, we need a block for 54, though. I'm not sure we're getting that much. We get, uh, we're we exhausting all the cards, so we exhaust for 30. And this block's for 12, so we get 42 block. Plus 5, or plus 3. Uh, so block for 45 and take 9. And then we combo next turn. Uh, which should work, assuming we draw one of the two Pommel Strikes. Wait, we draw five, Pommel Strike for two more, and then Pommel Strike for another card and the, the other Pommel. Yeah, it should work. Okay. Uh, so yes, playing clothesline would be more blocked than exhausting it, but we need to we need to get rid of three attacks if we want to combo this turn, and uh, clothesline was one of those. 
All right, sweet, we did it. Um, 39, that's not enough. Uh, can we set up Sundial? No, we can't. Or we could, but we would be giving up feed. Okay, well that's the first time we comboed. We've been planning around that since we picked a Sundial on like, floor 8 or something, but... Great, we finally did it. Uh, Pumble says exhaust. We have two uh, feel no pains, so that's kind of fine. Could block for six as well as doing ten damage for one energy. Um, it is another card that we have to draw and play before we are comboing. Um, so I don't see like a really compelling reason to pick it. Um, I don't see a compelling reason to avoid it either, though. Huh. Um, I think if you don't see a compelling reason to pick it, I'm not going to pick it, right? Um, so I'm skipping it. Okay. Um, extra question mark could get Falling, which removes the card from the deck, which would be great. We'd probably click on whatever the attack is, as long as it's not a Pommel Plus or a Feed. Or Feed and Fire. Um, uh, are there other card removes? There's, like, Bonfire Spirits and stuff. Yeah, there's plenty of card removes. Let's go to question marks. Ooh, a Rare Relic. Uh, what are the good Rare Relics? We probably skip... Um, reopening, reopening Chrome here. Um, um, the rare relics that I want. Probably skip Dead Branch. Um, Calipers actually would be good. Uh, Old Coin is not particularly good. Fossilized Helix and Gambling Chip, always super good. Tungsten Rod. Uh, we don't really need a Mango. Obviously, Lizard Tail and Incense Burner are good. Um, Stone Calendar is just kind of irritating. Shovel's kind of fine. What does Shovel do here? Um, we've got... How many fires coming up? We could do quite a few extra fires on the right. If it's Old Coin or Shovel, we'd probably go right. Let's get the uh, fires in a... And a thing. Um... Could get Champion Belt, which would be terrible. Magic Flower, which would be okay. Tori, super good. Captain's Wheel, I like a lot. Bird Facer is fine, but not impressive. Gira is another reason to go to campsites. We already saw Peace Pipe at a shop, so we can't be that. Turnip would be nice. Uh, do we win the fight? We, like, fiend fire one of them to death, and immolate, like, hemo and pommel strike the other one to death. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, Stone Calendar's irritated because we're trying to feed on people, right? Stone Calendar makes it, puts us on a timer. We have extra health, yeah, but if, if we lose a bunch of health, we might be risking our line of doing three elites here. Um, going right, actually, is pretty perfect, because then we get an exact 10 chest proc. The late shop is, like, kind of awkward, because there's a, a shop four floors from now in Act 4, but... Like, let's fight him. It's a feed opportunity. Most of the rare relics are good. I don't know, are they mostly good? Yeah, they are. I mean, the chance at getting, like, Fossilized Helix or Lizard Tail, Incense Burner, uh, Tungsten Rod, it's just too tempting. Yeah, Stone the Calendar is definitely skippable sometimes. It's not, like, 
an obvious skip, but definitely can be appropriate. Uh, probably Shockwave, Iron Wave, Ghostly Armor here. Yeah, I think we're probably skipping Branch if we see it. Okay, take three. I have an Immolate, please. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> um, we don't really need Flame, ba flame Barrier. We've already done that. Uh, we can't feed, right? Yeah, no, not close. I guess uh, Pommel Strike could draw nothing. Reckless Charge Pommel Strike is probably the most damage. Or I guess Reckless Charge Hemo. And it can't do that because we just put a card on top. Turn 12 to deal 365 damage. That'd be pretty sick. Um... We have to use a potion in this fight, because we have to use a potion every fight, because we have White Beast. So maybe we use a potion now? Uh, let's see what Pommel hits. Okay. So it's going to be really hard to feed in this fight. Um, Immolate hits for 42 when it's plus, so we want to hit him to get him to 42, kind of. We could do that now. That seems fine. Skipping Feel No Pain is not a great feeling. Could Energy Pot to get feed, Feel No Pain right now. Also blocks for two. No, I think I'll save it. Can I get an Immolate, please? Immolate one time. Immolate... What the hell? Um, maybe we are liquid memorizing for a feed here. Like pommel strike feed. This is 15, this is 18? Yeah. 15 plus 18 is only 33, but we've got a reckless charge. That seems pretty reasonable. If I top deck Immolate here, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. Um, have you played Feel No Pain? It wouldn't be so painful skipping it. Classic Catch-22. Yeah, exactly. Um, Okay, hit the strike, so I don't need to play my Reckless Charge unless I want to. And also my cat is loud. Um, so strike plus feed kills you. And draws a card. Um, let's kill him next turn. Hey, hey, what? Meow. We got her. Ooh, maybe I am loud. Coconut, what do you think about that? Am I too loud? Also, Pixel Noise accidentally pressed enter in the middle of his message. Let's make fun of him. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Palm Strike. Is this lethal? 42 plus 9. 51. It is not lethal. <laughs> the veggie patch is great catnip. I love it. Coconut loves it. Uh, we block for 3 with the days and 8 with the defend. That's 11. Plus 3 from that is 14. Uh, not super good. Maybe this is the elixir on the burns. Elixir on burns is pretty reasonable here. Fiend fire for lethal next turn. Blocks for 10. It's a decent elixir. Aragon says 9! 
Why do you say nine, Aragon? 42 plus nine! Well, this is always happening. And this is always happening. Um, this is free. Yeah, blocking for net 10 seems pretty good here. We don't need the elixir to get the infinite off anymore. So I won't use it that way. Oh crap, I should have drawn a card for a send-off rock. Ah, it is Stone Calendar. Are we skipping or taking Stone Calendar? True Grit does not say plus on it. Havoc does. Um, is this Havoc deck? We talked so much about Stone Calendar, he was like, Hey, I heard my name. Hey guys. It's Stone Calendar. Um, I mean, we have a feed, but we're usually like fast enough that Stone Calendar doesn't matter, right? So it just like helps us get. What do, what do we get out of it? Like sometimes it kills a Reptomancer, a swarm of Reptomancer daggers, or something. I would do a rocky voice, but it hurts my throat when I do it, so I've got like a limited amount of total rocky voice time in my life. And I'm not willing to spend it on this. <laughs> I heard you need 50 damage after a fight ends. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, yeah, it's true. We do, we do predict stuff sometimes. Uh, we also predicted skipping um, Dead Branch for what it's worth, and that didn't happen. The Bell Fusion Hammer. I don't remember that one. Did I predict, like, a... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, Warpaint, or... I can never remember the name of those relics. Warpaint, or... What is the other one? What does it look like? Um... I can't even remember. The one that upgrades two attacks. Um, I mean, trigger hitting an attack is pretty great, right? Whetstone, thank you. Oh my gosh, prediction started. <laughs> but I didn't do it. <laughs> what is the prediction? Will Fetch take the calendar? <laughs> Well, now I have to wait for 50 seconds before taking, choosing whether to take calendar. Um, man, I can't even I can't even weigh in. I don't want to bias the results. Oh yeah, Black Star is great. Um, Havoc versus True Grip. I feel like so Havoc is weird. Because you could hit like Fiend Fire or Feed. A lot of weird options. But if you hit like Corruption, you're like, you hit a Bonanza Jackpot, right? You can exhaust an attack with it. It costing zero is like not very significant with Corruption in the deck. It's like a little bit significant, but. Um, I think it's probably True Grid or Skip here. I don't think Havoc is really, really rising up to the level. Uh, so do we need a true grit? We've got so many second wind effects. Um, uh, I guess I shouldn't look at the prediction. I would let that let that sway me. Um, I don't think we need a true grit. If it said plus on it, I think I would take it, but I think I'm skip as is. Okay, now stone calendar. Do we take the stone calendar? Interferes with feed, and, <laughs> um, but, like, okay, there's got to be some fight where Stone Calendar's good, right? Let's think about what that fight would be. Uh, if we fight, like, Darklings later, it's going to prevent us from feeding. Um, it could, like, kill a, um, Writhing Mass, so I could see our Writhing Mass fight going that long. It's too late against Transient. 
Uh, doesn't matter against Awaken one. Could help us get a good um, or get get lethal after a Time Lord split. Um, how do we do deal with Time Lord here? Um, notably, not a good situation for infinite decks. Um, so yeah, it costs us a little bit of max HP, but it helps against Time Lord. It's not a terrible, um, terrible pickup. Okay. All right, who called it? I uh, I can't see the prediction. I don't know. I don't know how to see it. You smell insider trading. Uh, all right, we're skipping those. Um, let's see who won. <laughs> FPL Panic predicted it. Wait, who who lost? I can't see the, the thing's not big enough. X Munga X. No dice. No dice, my friend. Uh, okay. Um, all right, and now we're going left to get more elites. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I appreciate your style, X Munga. You know, the over under. Sure, I could I could see that that being a good ratio. Um. Sure. I'm gonna save the second one. There's burns in this fight. I don't want to lose it. Oh wait, this is not. I assumed it was zero cost corruption, but it's not. Okay. Uh, we can't draw cards, and we drew all the card draw. Boom. Uh, we don't really need to block, so we can just spend all the energy doing damage, but I don't really have that much damage to do. And he's intangible, so I might as well just block, I guess. I guess I'll save Ghostly Armor. That's something to do. Uh, let's get this out of the deck, and extend weak till next turn, and get a trivial amount of damage in. If we infinite combo on a turn when he's intangible, are we willing to go the distance? I think the answer is probably no. <laughs> um, corruption shockwave. Hey, Speedy. Um, and I'll do a defend block. I'm not gonna play Emily because he's intangible. There's no point. I don't want the burn. Uh, all right. Uh, we can get rid of all these cards, but we need Fiendfire to hit some attacks. So I think we'll... Let's see. I'll start with Warcry and see what we get. Put Flame Barrier on top. And then play the Immolate. Um, hmm... Can we just do Fiend Fire to hit a burn? I think no, right? I think we have to hit three attacks if we want to infinite. We don't really have to infinite in this fight, though. Doing a 45 right now is probably enough. So I think I'm just going to go for it. Well, yeah, we'd have to second wind all the burns away. Darn, I saved the Flame Barrier hoping he would multi-attack, but he didn't. Um, do we ever Heart of Iron to block out? No, Heart of Iron's way too strong with, um, Sacred Park. Uh, Alright. Come on, give me the damage. I only need, uh, what, like 15 damage here? Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> uh Oh wait, Stone Calendar's going off too. He's dead this turn no matter what. Let's 
stupid calendar. Bonk. Okay. The calendar. I don't think it really cost us some... Uh, I don't think it really cost us any health. I think it just protected us from getting attacked next turn. Uh, nope, none of these. We've talked about all these. Um, there's nothing to headbutt in the deck. Uh, armaments is just an extra card. Havoc, we skipped a plus one last floor. Dark Star Power could help if we get... Um, Ooh, that's what looks like a Sapphire Key. Oh man, it's the boot right before... Uh, oh, it's right after Nemesis, so we're pretty unlikely to hit Nemesis again. I think we're allowed to skip this Nemesis, or this boot. Uh, we do have Tiny Chest as well, so we, we could take boot, but... Boot versus a random relic seems like random relic to me. Okay, more elites. Give them to me. Alright, Giant Head was our... It's been our only combo target so far. Seems like Corruption on 1 is something we want. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Uh, Reckless Charger skip. I think skip. I don't want that daze. <laughs> sorry for sorry for the aggressive skip. Um, do we exhaust Flame Barrier just to get rid of it? I think so. That was slightly wrong order. Should have played Strike and then, um, close line. Um, defend for an extra slow proc. Um, I'll keep a Shrug It Off. Shrug It Off is, um, it's pretty good. Although it's costing me keeping a second wind, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll keep both the Shrug It Off and the second wind, just because Shrug It Off is so good. Is it, though? Fiendfire is pretty, uh, I guess Fiendfire is going to get drawn with Feed next turn, huh? But maybe Warcry could save the Feed. Um, gosh. That would have, that would have been, would have been a very high frequency, uh, prediction. Because <laughs> I made that decision pretty quickly. Um. There's actually only one attack for Fiendfire to hit next turn. So we can't combo next, or we can't set up next turn. So I'm going to keep all of the skills. I think I was a little bit too aggressive earlier. Okay. Uh, we need Field of Pain to do some blocking here. We'll put Feed Fire back on top so we can Feed Fire next turn. Um, I think we still want to get a Feed in this fight. I think we can. Give me three attacks. No, come on. Two attacks, that's not enough. Um, right? That's not enough. I think that is not enough. Um, we're gonna need to do something here. We feed fire, we exhaust six cards, blocks for 30. Um, so that blocks out. But we also run out of ways to exhaust things. And we don't have the elixir potion in the bar anymore. The other line is just like clothesline strike second wind. That only blocks for six. So we'd go to 17, 
go to 20, it would take 13 damage. Could use the Heart of the Iron. Block most of that. Yeah, okay. That seems okay. Oops, that's the wrong order. Should have closed on last. Okay. Um, shrug. Uh, we're already blocked out, so we could save the shrug. And just do, like, bash iron wave. Yeah, I don't want to shrug into... Hmm. Actually... That would be kind of fine. I'm worried about running out of block, though. Hopefully we can top deck uh, Fiendfire next turn and get these three attacks and the burn. Yeah, I was counting the Iron Wave already. Yes, Fiendfire hits all the attacks! Uh, exhausts a bunch of cards, uh, three, six, seven. Seven times six is 42. Seems great. We're actually in a really awkward spot next turn, though, because both of our, uh, Pommel Strikes are in the discard pile, so we won't draw either one. We've got low enough cards that we could, we could combo, but we won't actually combo. If we'd played the, the Defend earlier, we would have gotten there. Um, I guess Iron Wave blocks for 7, and we're only uh, fi down 5, so that's fine. Alright, we don't want to do too much damage. I want to... Well, it doesn't matter. We're doing combo either way next, next turn. We literally can't miss. Uh, all right, just do this until feed is ready. Ideally, with this on two, it'll alternate between two and uh, and zero. Sweet, delicious stone. Ooh, we're over a hundred. That's nice. Uh, wild strikes and no. Uh, if we hadn't evolved, maybe, but we don't, and it gives us extra stuff we have to exhaust. Armaments is a no, we've talked about that a bunch, so it's the same as Favic. Let's get out of here. Alright, we need to do at least two question marks. We could do this fight. Um, but I have to imagine question marks are better, right? Bonfire Spirits, Falling. Uh, there's some good ones. Even um, Tesseract. If we do Tesseract, we could get a um, Finesse, which would be nice. That's a very expensive red mask. <laughs> um, hmm. Alex of Pixel Noise is here, wow. Got the whole Pixel Noise crew. Um, usually we just get the Pixel Noise FM account. Maybe that's the same person, but just logged into a different account. <laughs> Ooh, Sherwin Pixel Noise. Wow, the Pixel Noise crew is really expanding here. Uh, no, this is an obvious skip, right? Ornamental fan, you don't say. It's not doesn't make us block positive against the heart, but it's good. And there's no reason not to pick it. Uh, one last chance at a uh, card remove or a finesse. Might as well. Oh my god. <laughs> 600 gold sh surprise job. Um... Yeah, subsidize is an interesting way of thinking about that. Yeah, we, we're only, um... I see, I see. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I always wonder, because it just says Pixel Noise FM, so I'm like, is it Alex or Tony? Um, Burning Pact can get rid of a attack. There's an Orange Pellets, which seems like... 
Oh, actually, Orange Pellets is sick here, because we can Orange Pellets purge the, um, uh, the Battle Trance combo, or the Battle Trance debuff on the combo turn. So we can draw that up to, up to nine. Uh, as well as, obviously, blocking the Heart debuffs, which is, like, the main point of Orange Pellets. Um, or, not blocking, but removing. It's true, we do have plus 10 decks. Um, good point. Yeah, Pellets plus Sacred Bark is pretty good. Wait, does this draw 10 cards? <laughs> I forgot about the Sacred Bark. <laughs> draw 10 cards. Is this the only effect in the game that draws 10 cards? Um, yeah, it seems like Strike Remove, Orange Pellets, Feel No Pain, Burning Pact is pretty much always happening, right? Panache actually makes us... Um, that's true, Scrawl. Yeah, good point. Uh, Panache um, uh, could actually be pretty playable here. Um, every five cards does an additional ten damage. Because um, we are like a, a little bit up against the clock, right? Because like our uh, our combo is health negative, right? Um, so we have to play enough. Uh, which we call it. Pommel strikes to um, get a damage cap, and that incurs some amount of damage back to us. Um, let's see. So every three attacks, we gain four block. So it's um, every, what, three cycles, we gain eight block. And every three cycles, we play six cards, so we lose 12 health. So it's minus four block per three cycles, so it's like a little bit over one health per cycle that we're losing. But we do, um, like, 30 damage per cycle, so it's not really that big of a concern. Um, because we only have to do, like, seven cycles, so we only lose, like, eight health or something. Uh, probably not that big of a deal with the Ornamental Fan. Um, so I don't think we're going to pick Panache, because it, it makes that ratio slightly better. Um, but uh, not in a way that we care about. Uh, there's a dropkick. Dropkick's also a, a combo thing. But we've got two pommel strikes, so I, I think we're done picking combo attacks. Um, so I'll click that, and this... Is it strike, or is there a worse one? Yeah, it's strike. Reckless charge is sometimes worse than strike, but... Uh, well... No, we've got... We're coming up on three feel no pains here. I, can't, I think reckless charge is fine. Uh, and then these two, and I think save the rest. Um, do we want ever want a swift pot for six cards? It's a lot of cards. We don't really need the forge pot. Could ditch that. Um, drawing six cards is really good. For 56 gold. We're going to be at the Act 4 shop like pretty soon. I'd kind of like to save some money for it. Let's move on. Okay. Um, big fight for Gremlin Horn. This is the reason we picked it. Um, if we top deck Immolate, we want to Pommel Strike on Reptomancer. If we top deck anything else, we want to Pommel Strike on one of the daggers. So I'll Paul Sucker Dagger. Fiend fire, huh? If we fiend fire this dagger, we draw a card. We can intimidate first and then fiend fire. Okay. Um, this Fiendfire hits no attacks. Are we okay with that? Um, because we have Burning Pack now? Is that okay? We'd have to have Burning Pack three attacks, though, and that means we can't play Corruption until we've done two of them. I guess that's not okay. Okay.
Can I get an emulate, please? Oof. Um, Snack oil for emulate? Yeah, maybe we like empty out the hand to go look for emulate. If emulate costs three, I don't want to not be able to play it. I guess I if I just play metallicize and then whatever gets gets zero costed, I have an energy pot too. But we have to drive emulate this turn, right? Or else we die. <laughs> um do we close line first? To draw literally ten cards. I think I do. Oh wow, we didn't get it. That's that's crazy. Um, we have battle trades though. We could play corruption battle trades with the uh, energy pot. Luckily, we didn't increase the cost of pommel strike. That could have been kind of bad. I was worried about that. We could also Forge Pot, that'll reduce the cost of Corruption to 2. I don't think that's worth it. Mm, maybe it is worth it. Because then if we draw the Immolate and it costs 2, I want to be able to play it. Okay. Uh, let's Warcry first. Maybe we find it that way. Uh, we have to clear out some room. Um, we are able to... Oh cr crap, maybe I was supposed to do that after Battle Trance. We've got three, six, seven cards in hand so we can Battle Trance now. Um, oh, it, it doesn't have a randomized cost, because we're not drawing it with Sneko Eye. Shoot, so we can't play it. Um, oh wait, but we can get one energy off of this guy. So let's draw it. Please? Last card! Uh Oh wait, no, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter, that's fine. Um, because we, we now have a 50-50 where we get to draw one card, but there's a daze. So, can I please have Immolate? Oh, I have no draw! Oh, God! Um, that cat is driving me crazy. Um, okay, so we just need to block this turn. Uh, so we play Feel in the Pain, remove the no draw, um, and now we can't play Pommel Strike, because then we would skip Immolate next turn. Uh, and just block for a lot. I guess we've blocked out, so it doesn't really doesn't really hurt that bad anymore. Because we did so much stuff that turn. Okay. Hey. What is the deal, Coconut? Alright. Emily... You're being called to the principal's office, Emily. Something about domestic terrorism? Uh, Alright. Uh, I'd like to save Flame Barrier for when it's a multi attack, but I guess I don't really care that much. Second wind needs to hit wounds, so I'll save it for when that's better. Uh, I'm not giving up on feed, though. We can still hit a feed in this fight. No reason to spend it here. Um, we need to either keep her health 
exactly where it is or feed in the next two turns. I think feed in the next two turns is probably the more likely uh, approach. Uh, do we ditch the defense? I think we're probably never shuffling again. But in case we do, I don't want defense. Uh, well, at least she is not attacking. So we'll just take 18 here and get lethal next turn with calendar or without it. Yes. Um, can we get a Sundial proc? I believe we can. Okay. Um, we almost let Calendar have its sweet, sweet revenge, but no. We needed it for feed. Unceasing top. Cool. Second feed. Ooh, disarm is super good. Disarm on the heart. Yes, please. Uh, we have to recall if we want to go to Act 4, and we want to go to Act 4. Awakened one. All right. <laughs> I'm waiting for the moment Calendar betrays us. It already did cost us a possible feed, Brock. Um, so we are comboing in this fight, right? We're not trying to, like, save stuff. Yeah, I think so. Um, I want to play Field No Pain, because if it hits one of these two or Corruption, that's a good target. All right. This is like one of the easiest fights in the game to get a feed off in, but it looks like we might miss here. It would get three block if we use the feed now. Um, and we get some potentially important damage. If we get immolate next turn, yeah, feed sets up this guy for immolate. Hmm. You know what we could do? We could just distill chaos right now. Um, and if it hits Immolate, then we get a free feed. If it hits Fiend Fire, though, we're kind of, we kind of whiffed it. And that's just as likely. I think I'll just take the three. Um. Is that worth it? No, I think it's not. It's like three to speculatively get four later. It's like, why? Uh, if Pablo Strike hits... Uh, immolate. How sad are we? Hmm. Like, 4 out of 10 for sadness. This isn't, like, a super critical immolate fight. Okay, whatever. I guess I have to close Chrome again. My computer's acting real bad. Uh-oh, the anti-malware service executable is doing some stuff. Hmm, hmm, what do you see, anti-malware service executable? What are you looking at? I did a Windows update, so maybe they changed some stuff. Uh, this blocks out. Might as well get a bash in. Uh, we've already missed Immolate, so I guess I'll just put it on the low health guy. I'll save the defend. Um. Disarm's good. I was kind of thinking I would draw a uh, power so I could purge debuffs and then draw more cards, but that's not true. Not the case. That did not happen. 
We can just war cry to put Fiend Fire back on top. That seems fine. Oh wait, uh, we're gonna miss a draw with Gremlin Horn here too. Oh well. Thirty-six. We've got twenty-six. Uh, defend doesn't quite do it. Guess this only overblocks by one. We do have to get this out of hand. I'm not playing. It's not really an option. Um, this is not a good enough fiend fire, right? So we have to hold that. And we take six. I guess I shouldn't have put the fiend fire back on top if it wasn't always going to be a good hand. Uh, Burning Pack can hit either Hemo or Strike. Probably Strike. Um, we do have to... Oh, we can actually just exhaust the field on that pain to Second Wind. We don't have to play it. That should happen. Um... Yeah, I don't know if we need three Feel No Pains. I think I'm just going to exhaust it. Do we need to save second wind for anything? Immolate burns? No. There's none left. Okay. Fiend fire for zero. Seems bad. We need to hit that. Hit uh, at least two attacks with that. Unfortunate draw. Uh, Pommel Strike, Iron Wave kills him. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. No reason to hold on to second wind, so I could exhaust that and defend. Or I could just do one of them. It looks like I'm going to need both, though. He's already weak. And I might as well hit M Metallicize while I can. And then... Bash? I think I'll extend the week. I think that's... I'm probably not worried about next turn at all, because I think we're comboing next turn, but we'll see. Yeah, two pommels and then a fiend fire gives us a deck with only two pommel strikes in it. So that should do it. We draw one right now because of unceasing top, but we don't need that. Pretty sure we don't need any cards other than pommel strikes, right? So we can just do this. Okay. Press one to win. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a deck where the only cards left are the combo cards. It's kind of funny. We actually could make this combo work with, um, with only one Pommel Strike now. If we wanted to, against the heart, we might want to do a single pommel strike and uh, the other card is an iron wave. I believe that works, right? Because when you play the iron wave, your hand is empty, so we would use unceasing top to draw a card. And that card would be, oh no, that card could be iron wave again, huh? Um, yeah, it could. But that doesn't matter? 
Yeah, that doesn't matter, because then if we play the Iron Wave, and then we draw a Pommel Strike, yeah. So I think, I think yeah, with the with the Unceasing Tap, we can play, we can, because this is block positive against the Heart, too. So I believe we can do that. And since we kill him on turn one, we never even get a Void. Okie doke. <laughs> Here we are, just pressing Pommel Strike, winning the game. Um... Cause, okay, so if Iron Wave is... Sorry, I'm still thinking about the Iron Wave um, Pommel Strike Sundial combo. So if, I, if if the deck is completely gone except for an Iron Wave, a Pommel Strike, and you draw Iron Wave first, then you play it, you draw exactly Pommel Strike, right? Because it's in the draw pile. Um, you play Pommel Strike, you draw the Iron Wave, and then you shuffle once. Um, or no, you shuffle once and then draw the Iron Wave and then shuffle again. So that's two shuffles, and then you have Iron Wave in hand. And then you play Iron Wave, and you draw either one of the two. So it's kind of awkward. I think I think we can, yeah. I think it works, though. Also, if it doesn't work, we can just Pommel Strike repeatedly to get extra energy. And then, even if it's negative energy, we can do it. But you can't do both of those combos at the same time, right? So. It doesn't quite work. Okay. Next boss. <laughs> Imagine awakening to this cheese. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, I don't think Sundial plus top plus Iron Wave would work because Sundial is um, uh, two energy every three shuffles. So if you just had a, a single card Iron Wave deck, um, you would you'd be playing three three cost for three shuffles. You'd be energy negative. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, um, Time Lord, he's here. We can bring back to Reckless Charge, that's not an important resource. With Feel No Pain, that blocks a little bit. Um, we may want to Speed Pot and then Pommel Strike, which would purge our debuffs and leave us with 10 decks. Um, Time Lord is probably the, the fight where your per, per card efficiency is most important in the game. So I'm pretty happy using the speed pot against it. I always respect time eater, so I'm not gonna try and save a potion against him. So now we have ten permanent decks. Mwahaha. <laughs> um we've blocked out uh Intimidate's actually a pretty decent resource. We have um three copies of Field My Pain in the deck, so it's nine block and weak. And we don't need the weak right now, so I'm gonna save it. And say go. Uh, disarm's good. <laughs> We've already almost blocked out. Um, wait, why did we start with so much block? Did I miss something? Why did we start this turn with 14 block? Oh, because of uh, Horned Clate. Duh, it's turn two. Yeah. Hey, Prey Sneko. Uh, we could Warcry the Shrugadoff back on top. Thanks to the follow. Uh, I Raygade. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. Awaken One does not appreciate your support. <laughs> um, let's see. Do we want to have seven cards next turn? Or is five okay? Or is six okay? Uh, I think six is probably even too many. I don't think we're going to play six cards next turn. Um, yeah, I think we're just done. I'll take one.
Um. Hmm. Well, Ghostly Armor Defend blocks out. So we're not playing Fiendfire this turn. Alright, four cards for next turn. Should be fine. Um, yeah, we can play all of these, right? Yeah, if we play Feel No Pain first, then Corruption's guaranteed to close line. Oh. Okay. Fresh set of clock. Uh, what does Distilled Chaos do? No, that's weird. Yeah, top top skipped our feel no pain there. Awkward. Uh, the second winds are, winds are staring at each other. I wish I could put one of them to beta art. I don't know what the beta art looks like, but... Oh god, that's horrible. No, I guess I don't wish that. Wouldn't wish that on anyone. See if we can draw a feed fire. Nope. We can purge debuffs, but um, not to any great effect. Uh, Slime actually almost blocks out. Blocks for fifteen. Blocks up to fifteen. And then we have three metallicized for up to eighteen. And this blocks for seventeen. <laughs> Iron Wave is blocking for 17 because of the decks. That's nuts. Um, so basically, do we want to exhaust cards or no? I think we don't want to exhaust cards. Um, because it's Time Eater. Um, we could strike. Or leave ourselves 7 cards for next turn. If we leave 7 cards, we might be able to hold it for 2 turns. Um... Worst case scenario, we just uh, distilled chaos and play seven cards next turn. I don't think strike is good. Uh, leave three cards or leave five cards for next turn. Um, Fiendfire can hit bash and clothesline next turn. It's pretty good. Do we need five cards for that? Is it going to be awkward to play five cards? Might be. Probably have to play Pommel Strike and Fiendfire, maybe Burning Pact. So let's leave like three cards for next turn. So I want to play two now. So play Hemo and Intimidate, I think. Okay. I guess I'll play a slime. We're unfortunately missing Fiendfire on the attacks. It's too bad. We do have to get rid of those slimes. There goes Calendar. Pew! We're going very slow in this fight. We were pretty fast in the Awakened One fight, but not this time. Uh, let's go ahead and burn the Hemo. Uh, I believe if we fiend fire now, we should be fine. Um, let's see. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that go away. So we end up with seven cards total, uh, which is not guaranteed pommel strike combo, but it's close enough. Or we could warcry and try to save fiend fire until next turn. Nah, I'm gonna fiend fire now. Get rid of that. And that. Do we burn the flame bearer? No, I think I'll save the flame bearer. That's a good card. Blocking for 123 when he's not attacking. Great stuff. Um, 
I want to play like Clothesline, Iron Wave, Second Wind. Maybe that's more block than I need. Just Iron Wave Defend blocks for 23. He's already weak though. Sorry, I don't have a Calipers would be good here. Emote, but it certainly would be. Um, yeah, let's just go in. Um, leaving myself with three on the clock for next turn is a little bit awkward. Okay. Flame Barrier blocks out. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, do we play the Defend, or is that a resource? I think we keep it. I think it's a resource. Yeah, I Raid Gade. Got to this game recently. Trying to find somebody to learn from. Well, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's... it's uh, Most of the Slay the Spire streamers have been streaming, like, since the beginning. And they've been, uh... You know, they've played like, thousands of hours of Slay the Fire on stream. So I, 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 I get it, right? It's... I would definitely get bored. I can I can understand getting bored playing the same game, you know, for so many hours. Um, but... Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. All right, we do have to filter out those um, slimes. And we're a little behind on defending, so I think this is going to be our defend turn, right? Oh wait, nope, we're blocked out. We're good. Okay. Um, he's going to split now. So we probably just leave him alone. Maybe play a slime. Let him do his little healing thing. And then I think we're doing clock cycles every turn from here on out. Yeah, slime is not, not too bad right now. We only generated 11 block during that. That loop, I'm not sure that's good enough. Um, can, how can, how much Iron Wave can we fit in? Because that's our, our big source of block here, right? I think quite a few. Oh shit, I messed up the combo. That was too early for the Iron Wave. The other two cards are both Bommel Strikes. I forgot the clothesline was coming. Um... Looks like we're okay, but we lost the defend, so now we're out of out of skills. And we only get to play six cards next turn. Um I don't think I can leave myself with three on the clock. I think I have to use the Dissolve Chaos to prep the clock here. Although slime is going to block next turn. No. Hmm. If next turn is like slimed clothesline iron wave, I'm not that sad about it. Blocks for 9, 26 and weakens. Reapplies weak. He's got 6 uh, strength, so when he multi-attacks, he attacks for 14 times 3. 14 times 3 if he's weak is minus 4, so it's 10 times 3. It's 30 damage. And I'd be blocking for 25. That's fine. What if I don't draw these? Um, not that likely. Might have to exhaust feed for block. If I skip clothesline, it's the biggest deal. Alright. Uh, oh, I'm vulnerable. Shit. Um, oof. Alright, well, I cannot leave myself at 11 on the clock, so I'll use this to proc the clock. 
This is not where we wanted to be. We can't rest, so this is a bit, that's a big deal. We just lost a lot of Act 4 health. Oops. Oh, ran out of energy. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this combo? Alright, six should be fine. We used six energy and got 42 block this turn. We should be okay. Oof. Well, we definitely played that wrong. I'm not sure exactly what was the right thing to do, but we didn't do it. Okay. He's up to 10 strength, though, so it's getting getting harder to block him. Uh, we don't have lethal. Block for 18 with the slimes. Um, I think we have to distill chaos here. If we distilled chaos, it hits... Just these three cards. It's Iron Wave and then double Pommel Strike. So it'll do 27 damage. Should put us in feed range. It might play... I'm not sure exactly how Distilled Chaos works when you're, like, shuffling repeatedly. It might play all six cards, right? Because it might do the... <laughs> do the Pommel Strike combo. No, they don't end up in the discard until after the Distilled Chaos, right? So I believe Distilled Chaos feed is the line here. Uh, I guess strike feed. Okay. Not too bad. We did take, like, an extra, like, 50 damage there that I don't think we needed to take. But. Act 4. Okay, let's do it. Alright, 96 should be enough for Act 4, right? Um, let's see, where do we want to upgrade? Probably Disarm. Disarm is pretty good against the heart. Um, Flame Barrier, also good against the heart. We probably don't need that kind of, that kind of noise against a heart fight. In the against the heart, all we care about is comboing as quickly as possible, I think. I think the Disarm maybe is a bit of a distraction. So maybe it's actually Burning Pact. Burning Pact drawing more helps us combo faster. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Disarm is nice, but only if we, like, top deck it and fail to combo on two. Um, we were offered two entrenches in the run, but never a barricade. We could card remove card, which is a pretty big deal, but there's also a regen pot available. And regen pot plus uh, um, sacred bark is pretty insane. So we should probably do that. 55 health just being here on the, in the shop is is uh, pretty busted. So if we do this, we can't afford much else. Could grab a true grit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of true grit targets in Act 4, right? I think I'll take a True Grip Minus. There's like lots of statuses and stuff. I don't think we ever are forced to play it when it has a good target. Okay. Alright, I guess we're blocking with Field No Pain this turn. Bring back the Reckless Charge is generally what we want to do. Um, second Wind is incredible next turn. Let's see if we can Warcry and... Um, actually, we're guaranteed to be able to put it on top, right? Because we already blocked out this turn. Oh, great. Corruption, too. Okay. 
we're in really good shape now. I'll play the strike first so that corruption is guaranteed to hit bash. And then do we want to get rid of a defend or keep one? Uh, I think get rid of it. We don't have the 10, uh, 10 decks anymore, so. Oh my god. I'm going to restart the fight, sorry. Second wind is for next turn, not this turn. Forgot about the top. Um... Man, I'm having some crazy performance problems. I don't know what the hell happened. I did see that there was a, a, a Slay the Spire update today. Um, so maybe I could blame that. Okay, so then we Warcry second wind on top. And play the strike first so that corruption hits bash, and then we just skip the defend. Okay. Two burns on top of the deck. Why, I say second win to you. Um, do we play metallicize or second win it away? I think second winning it away is pretty good. Blocks for 11 versus 3. Uh, turning around this negative block. Do we play Hemo? I don't see the point. Just hits armor. Oh right, it would draw a card with. Hold on, hold on. Before I see the next hand, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that because I have four energy. Um, I don't want to draw extra cards. Sorry about that. Restarting this fart fight twice. Um, you know what? While we have the fight closed, I'm actually going to restart Slay the Spire. Um, because it's performing so badly, I wonder if maybe it'll run better if I restart it. Um, so I'll throw up the starting soon screen, despite the fact that I am definitely still streaming now. <laughs> The modded client takes a little bit longer to start up, so it's doing its thing. Busting enums and stuff. And now we're back. Uh, okay. Sorry, is that not working? Um, there it is. Turn it off and on again. Okay. So we're starting this fight again. There we go. That's looking much better. All right, doing the same thing. War crying. Second wind onto the top of the deck. Playing the strike so that the corruption only hits bash, and then not playing defend because of top. Okay. Um, we play second wind. Get a bunch of block, and then we hemo to draw a card. And that card's Flame Barrier. Okay, we're done blocking. Second wind's a resource in this uh, in this fight because of the burns. So we will save it. Okay. Getting hit for 57. I don't like that, so let's block it. Um, who do we want the damage from Fiendfire on? We're weak, so it's only... Or no, we're not weak. We're minus one strength, so it's only nine card damage per card. Um, seems like we want to be facing shield. And he's got lower health, so maybe we can do that. Ooh, Battle Trance into Fiendfire. Um, excellent. Uh, unfortunately, we have Feed in hand, so we'd have to give that up. Um... If we do that, do we combo next turn? Uh, we draw three cards, but that's that's all the cards. The trigger it's preventing us. Um, I guess actually Fiendfire... No, it doesn't draw a card because we have the no draw. So we try to draw a card, but fail. Uh, 
Um, not so excited about feed that I'm going to try and try and use it in this fight. Um, nine times, let's see, three, six, seven, eight. So 72 damage. Okay. Presumably it's enough block. We've got a bunch of feel no pains going on. We actually aren't able to turn around here. We block for another 9 at the end of the turn. Uh, immolate or skip. We do still have a second wind, um, but Immolate doesn't really move us towards our wind condition here. Um, second one clothesline draws a card. Seems like we probably want to turn around with that clothesline. Mm, actually, we're almost blocked out. Yeah, I still want to turn around, though. Burning packing Immolate is fine. Great. And now we should come in next turn. We're down to a six-card deck, so not much left to stop us. Okay. Cal calendar's time to shine. Oh, wait. What time is it? Oh, it's combo time. <laughs> Sorry, calendar. Jeez. I just can't find the time. Um, hopefully we get some now on two, but we can't really uh, manipulate it too much here. Oh, we can. Okay, great. Um, and then we bash the finish to keep Sundown on too. Great. Warpaint, huh? Blessing of the Forge actually pretty decent. Um, oh, a Dark Embrace, huh? Uh, wow. Um, I mean, sure, right? How are you gaining energy to keep the combo going? That is Sundial. Total gained 168. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Dark Embrace has got to be good, right? We've got a Mummified Hand, it only costs one, it's upgraded. Got a Fiend Fire in the deck. Uh, disarm. I mean, the Corruption, right? Like, yeah. To... Oh, we got Shockwave and True Grit. Holy crap. There were Defends in that. It could have just hit Defend. Nope. Shockwave, True Grit. If I got to pick two, those are probably the two I would pick. Maybe Disarm. Um, wow. That was a really nice Warbane. Alright, no reason not to regen pot right away. Right? Is that true? What if we overheal with it? We heal for 10 this turn, 9 next turn. That's 19. We're still not overhealing even with that, even if he doesn't hit us at all on turn 2. Um... Too bad we hit the Flame Barrier on one. Do we start with Iron Wave to block beat damage? Um, I don't see why not. I guess it depends on what Pommel Strike draws, right? Yeah, let's not, let's not make a mistake for two health. Okay, same deal. We can Fiend Fire away two attacks. Um, and then it draws a card with zero. We lose our Flame Barrier and one of our Feel No Pains. I don't think I'm too worried about that. Okay. We lose Iron Wave. Are we, were we trying to do the Iron Wave combo? Um, I think it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think the heart has enough health that we get, like, seriously punished for having a very slightly block negative, um, very slightly block negative combo. But, like, if it's a block positive combo, then we can, like, use it to block, right? Uh, 
Whereas if it's a block negative combo, we have to find another solution. Yeah, this, this build is pretty silly. Strength is usually better on Ironclad. Um, but if you can make uh, if you can make Sundial happen, that's you're in a good place. Uh, you can also do it with Dropkick. Which is generally easier to do, because Dropkick is a card, not a relic. So it's the same basic of formula. You get yourself down to 10 cards, you play two Dropkicks. Um. Hmm. Yeah, one drop kick, one do wield is a little bit harder because you can't play a can't play corruption to get your deck size down. Um, I think I'm gonna skip fiend fire. I think I'm gonna play iron wave field no pain, and then ghostly armor if it gets hit. Uh, we need to draw some cards. Dark Embrace, Second Wind. Whew. And then we have to find an attack to purge the vulnerable. That seems okay. Ooh, we missed an attack. No attacks. That's kind of brutal. Alright, it's time. I'm pretty sure we're not going to overheal now. Uh, Feeling the Petty is better than Metallicize. I'd love to play both. Oh, great. Uh, Disarm showing up just in the nick of time. Disarm and Intimidate both. Heard we needed some help. I'm going to take the beat damage and develop Feeling the Pain. That's fine. Um, might as well do this now. I don't think we're saving it for anything. Alright, we were looking for corruption to put on the top, but I don't... Can't do that here. Um, might as well extend the week. Purge our debuffs. Now they don't matter. Alright. Oop, there's corruption. We're about ready to go here. Um, we do still need to get rid of a couple of attacks. This is going to decost either Immolate or Hemo. Uh, we can Hemo, or we can play an attack to purge debuffs here, which purges the no draw debuff. Um, this is a reasonable second wind. Let's see. We've got the other second wind still for the wound. Um, so I'll play the I'll play the attack to purge the debuffs, and then draw with shockwave. Kind of want to save shrug, but I guess we need to get rid of the burn, so I'll, I'll use it. Um. All right, this draws a bunch of cards too. Uh, Pommel Strike? I've never seen the Heart Boss. What buffs does it have? Uh, so it's got a couple of them. Um, Beat of Death is the first one. So whenever we play a card, it hurts us, which is why we were so worried about being sort of like block positive when we're playing an infinite number of Pommel Strikes, right? Because um, each Pommel Strike would hurt us for 2-2. Two, two. Um, currently he's vulnerable. Uh, invincible is a big deal, so you can only do 200 health at a time. So we can't, like, infinite combo and kill him. We have to infinite combo four turns in a row, basically. Um, I think I'm going to Pommel Strike to draw cards to make the uh, Forge Pot do stuff. I think Strike might be better than Bash here. Uh, 
Um, second wind, unfortunately, getting drawn before the wound. Does it have a heart attack? It has several attacks. <laughs> All of them are heart attacks. Which I think is kind of a joke. Um, I think we'll save the rest. I don't want to play Immolate or Reckless Charge because I want more statuses. Um, keep thinking the Immolate art is an Apotheosis. Oh, huh. Does it look like Apotheosis? I thought... I have to pull up a picture of Apotheosis. Well, my web browser is apparently causing performance problems, so I'm not going to do that, but... That's odd. Okay, I think we combo next turn. But I'm not, like, super confident. I hope we combo next turn. Put it that way. Nope. Um... We could play Feed to draw a card. If that card is Flame Barrier, either of these, the Iron Wave, uh, or the second one, we're pretty excited. Fiendfire actually is really good too. So we've got six hits out of eight. Only the Immolate and Clothesline are bad. Yeah, that's gotta be good, right? Sweet. Um, so we can pop the off Flame Barrier if we want to. There's not really any point to doing that. Um, I think we just pop the for damage. Um, mm, no, we shouldn't play Pommel Strike because we're guaranteed to draw a Pommel Strike next turn. And the only way we currently don't combo is when we draw five cards, none of which are Pommel Strike. Um, which can still happen. So, actually, no, even in that case, we do still combo, because one of the cards is second win, we can use that to draw a card. Um, or Flame Bearer. So we never fail next turn, so I'll just take the max damage. Maybe you should have played, um, Flame Barrier there, but we already overblocked, so... <laughs> is it, is it, is Galena gonna do something? I mean, it'll do something. It's gonna go off. So we did manage to keep the Iron Wave. And I believe that makes this combo block positive. Let me just get some energy so I don't accidentally break it. Yeah, it's only barely block negative as just pommel strikes. Because of the fan. Alright, I'll fit in an iron wave here. And so we're going to use this to block now. <laughs> Uh, this silly shenanigans. I'm gonna go up to like six energy, so it's just so I have to, don't have to think as hard. So the Iron Wave in the loop combo is block negative, but um, yeah, exactly. So he's he's uh, yeah, he that's the invincible thing. So he gets you get 200 health per turn that you get to damage him, um, and then he stops letting you damage him. <laughs> um, okay, so we're up to eight energy. So we're gonna do the Iron Wave cycle of the combo for a second. Get some block. Uh, 
and go back to the pommel wave part until we're back up to some high number of energy. Okay, six is good enough. Uh, oops, I said six was good enough and then I didn't combo when I hit six the next time. Okay, this time we're hitting six. Um, there are a lot of different numbers that are important for this combo. This one, and then like these ones, and that one, and they're all in different parts of the screen. <laughs> so it's actually a fairly difficult combo to pull off. Just like logistically, there's a lot to keep track of. Uh, actually, we're done. We can just Iron Wave now. Okay, we've locked out. We've done a damage cap. Okay. Uh, technically, we should put Sundial on too. No, wait, that never matters. Never mind. All right. Whatever. Okay. Taking internet advice from Small Dick Rick. That time we managed to get the combo off the ground without even ever taking damage. Um... <laughs> Today's really good solid of will Brett accidentally hit E. Dude, one of these days. You never know, man. Um, I think this might actually break the combo. I think we, we don't have enough sundial to be doing that. Yeah, I just broke it. Oh no, it's I, it's still working. Okay. So we're just skimming the ground there. I'd be pretty upset if I accidentally hit E, because I'd have to, like, replay the whole fight. Okay, we're down to zero blocks all Iron Wave. Uh, oh, we've already blocked out. Oh, we've already done the thing. Okay, we're done. <laughs> e, e, e ends the turn. <laughs> okay. Um, flame Barriers for this turn, right? This is how we let him kill himself, right? He takes six damage. Um on his turn, so he, uh, he does. Check fan stats at the end of the game. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot of block. <laughs> 56 per combat. Yikes. Let me get some energy. Then we'll do Iron Waves to block up to 60. I think it's really fun that you could target the heart even after you can't damage him anymore. I bet the, like, first version of the heart, you couldn't target him anymore once he was, um, invincible. But it's way more fun when you can still target him and do silly stuff. It is over. Technically, we've already won. Because he'll kill himself uh, on our on our uh, health here. Um, but I want to block for 60. Why am I having trouble making this turn block positive? Wasn't it, like, easily block positive in the past? Um... Oh, the beat's at three. You're right, that's why we can't keep up. Okay. Um... Is it still block positive? I- it's way too complicated. I have no idea. Um... All right, we're just gonna end on on Iron Wave and Second Wind. Oh right, that gives me more energy. <laughs> ah. Okay, all right, we're done. We don't have any energy left. Uh, we're done. He didn't even get through the armor. We actually did block it out. Yes. Well, that was a fun one. Um. 
the uh, I hate that if you pr click this proceed button, you can't look at your deck anymore. So I'm gonna look at my deck while I'm here. Um, usually decks with feed are like all about getting feeds, but this deck was not about that at all. <laughs> this is a very a very different kind of deck. Um, pretty fun that we like saw a sundial at a shop on like literally floor four. I think it was like we had a fight and then a or two fights and then a question mark. No, we had one fight, one question mark. That question mark was a shrine of gold. And we were like, all right, we're going to turn left, right? We're going to skip an elite in Act 1 uh, to get an extra, to take this gold. And then at that shop, we were like, hey, look, it's a sundial. <laughs> Wait, no, that can't be true because we have a potion belt from before. Oh, right, potion belt was from Niao. So we got the potion belt from Niao. Then on floor three, we got a sundial. And the sundial was all the way, <laughs> that was what we were doing. We didn't actually pull off the combo until uh, until Giant Head in Act 3. Um, but we took some, took some cards that made us pretty good at Act 2. We took an Immolate just to, like, shore up our Act 2. Um, honestly, we got super fed to, uh, the, the Spire was just like, do you want two feel no pains, two second wins? How about a corruption? Do you want a third feel no pain? Have a dark embrace, right? Like all these super good defense, un defensive uncommons. Um, so, uh, I think there was a lot of ways to win this one. You didn't have to do, um, to do pommel strike, uh, loops. Uh, here, but I really like doing infinites, and uh, you know, saw Sundial on floor three, so I was like, "Go, <laughs> we're doing it." Um, we didn't have any help uh, removing cards. The only like card remove things we found were Fiend Fire, uh, the Second Winds, obviously, and True Grit. So it took it took, I guess, Corruption as well. Uh, we didn't like find a bunch of shops or anything. We like uh, we still had like several basics left at the end. Like a lot of the time, if you want to do an infinite loop deck, you're going to need a Pandora's box, right? Because Pandora's box will, like, um, reduce your deck down to only the card. Like, if you if you Pandora's box swap into, like, two Pommel Strikes, then you're, like, already done, right? You can just you can just combo from there. You just need to draw a 10-card hand, and there you go, you're done. I mean, I guess you need the Sundial as well, but uh, probably two drop kicks is what you're looking at from Pandora's box. But, like, usually Pandora's box is, is required to get infinites, but this time, not so much. We, we managed to get there. Sans Pandora's box, um, but we did get get super fed. So uh, yeah, that's a fun one.